Yeah, guys, coming to you from somewhere deep, deep. Let's do this proper. You, know, you see my face. You see my face. Now I got to kill you. Let's do this somewhere deep, deep, deep in the universe on a planet. Not far, far away, but further, further than you would know. <sighs> yes. Um. I'm coming to you from an outhouse, somewhere far off in the galaxy. An outhouse uh, that some of you may know were bathrooms at one point in the time. It was actually a building out back with a hole dug in the ground. Uh, that's where you took a dump, and uh, you did number one and number two. So I'm com coming to you somewhere in an outhouse far, far away in the galaxy. And um, I have no toilet paper, and there's not a tree in sight. Matter of fact, I'm butt naked. I don't have no shirt, no pants, no socks. So there's actually nothing to wipe my butt with when I'm done except for my hand. Go ahead and picture that for a minute while I uh, dive back here into these comic books I got. So I'm in a shit house. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, This is like one of the, the massive... Well, this will be a the last, I'd say the last massive comic book haul uh, video I, I do. Sorry, I'm over here. Uh, damn it. Sorry, I was watching uh, Comic Gories, uh, John's Comics with Kids. Comic Gories, Summer Olympic Games. Yeah. yeah. I might check that out. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, so... Um, This was the preview stack of uh, bags and boards I went through yesterday, and uh, they're already ready to go. Just got to put something inside of them. Uh, believe it or not, guys, I was just live for like at 10 o'clock. I went live, and I'm sitting there talking, you know, doing the whole thing. And I'm like, damn, ain't nobody showing up in the chat. So I go to look, and I'm like, somebody else? Who else is live tonight? I'm like, I don't even know who's live tonight because uh, I pretty much – was up all night until I didn't I didn't actually lay down and get a get get any sleep today until around one thirty this afternoon. I laid down and woke up at like six, five or six or something like that. So and it's like it's rainy here all day. The weather's real gloomy. So it's like you wake up and you like say for instance it, it, you, you didn't really have you had all your, your curtains were closed. You wake up and you could just sense that it's a gloomy day outside. Have you ever have you ever felt that? Like you just woke up and um, you just feel that it's not like it's not a bright, bright, bushy day outside. It's a real gloomy day. You could sense that laying down. So your body just doesn't want to move, you know. So that's kind of where I was. But dad, I had stayed up completely all night last night. And um, like I said, I didn't I didn't actually lay down until like one thirty today. Um, I was up last night, you know, doing all these bagging and board. Plus, I was playing a video game uh, for those who know. Yeah, dude, I got a new I got a new commercial, man, but um StreamYard won't let me play the commercial that I got. Um I tell you what I can do. I can send that over to my um Instagram. And uh yeah, we'll do Anyways, um Hold on a second. Uh Here's another Duke's Mayo commercial for all my kitchen loving community members out there. This goes out to you, God Tank. <laughs> uh, I had to give him a. Uh... All right, so yeah, um, there we go. Will it do it? All right, hold on. Sorry, I'm jerking off here, and I should be just getting the business. Uh, what it don't when I put God Tank it? Oh, one God, dude. How do I not know that is a. Uh... All right. All right. And there we go. So as soon as it uploads, you know, I haven't tagged it yet. So, um, damn, it's already ready. So, yeah, um, I got some books here that I ordered from uh, Ye Yellow Snow Comics a while back. And uh, while I was live streaming, I was saying that, um, I had ordered some, I don't know how I got on the subject, but I had ordered some books from uh, Mutant Beaver uh, Comics back in April, like the the 
Oh, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I hadn't really ordered any more comic books here lately because I told y'all guys I need to like, I'm on a bender. Like, I'm on a bender. I need to, you know, I got a problem. You know, hi, my name's Chris Gray, uh, and um, I'm a comic addict. You know what? Speaking of devil, um, Biggie brought that up last live stream. I was live. I know I brought it up a while back, and I think I did like a funny thumbnail. Oh, but probably was like last year or something. Uh, comic book anonymous. Uh, that would be a pretty cool live show, guys. We need to have somebody that can come on and actually sound like a a very very medical. Um, mat- you know, somebody that don't swear every two seconds or two sentences like me. That has a very very. Um, you know, you listen to him and you you think this guy knows what he's talking about, even if he's lying to you. Just the way he talks, like this guy knows what he's talking about. I believe him. I'm going to try this. So yeah, we need we need to do a, a comic con, comic book anonymous show, and uh, just have people come on and tell their stories about you know their problem, their addiction, which is comic books. You know, and yeah, that we need put that on the back burner though, guys. If anybody has any good ideas to kind of toss into that idea, I just um uh, uh brought up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my God! Look at the boobies. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, normally, like, when I do my little comic haul videos, I'll do my little preview stack. This is, uh, this is part of the month's worth, and here's the other, re- the rest of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I felt like it was going to be about a short box full, but no, nah, not close. So I'm grateful. All right, so um, here we go. Uh, let's get a couple people in the chat real quick. Scroll all the way back up to the beginning. Uh, Las Cruces, Agu, Superior was up. God tank, gloomy as hell in high point, 226. I know, dude. I know. Weather's been real crappy today. Um, Mark the Cuddy. Yeah, me and Mark the Cuddy played a little Call of Duty last night. Uh, been real busy taking care of my mom. She had a stroke last month, but doing good. Yeah, dude. Prayers up for uh, God, God tank's mom, bro. Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. If, if you pray, if you believe in God and you pray, definitely say a prayer out for God thanks, mother. Because, man, I don't even, uh, you already know where I stand at on mom, so I don't even know you really need to talk about it. Uh, Superior, you good, man? Haven't seen you around much? Yeah, yeah, dude. I think I checked out the um, last couple of videos. I ain't noticed you put out anything new that I know of. Uh, GT, much love to your mom and your and your fam, your sir. Comic books and spicy ass chicken wings are my addictions, dude. Your asshole is going to seriously let you know that that is a big mistake. Well, not the comic books, but uh, yeah, Mark, working on a school and my kids with sports, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, my son played football when I was when he was in high school, so I love. I got to go to a couple of games. I, I really didn't get to get involved as much as I wanted to, but I appreciate that, brother. Back at you and your family. Also, what's up, Christina? That dye shirt is dope. Yeah, big shout-out to John's Comics with kids uh, who we rarely see over this side of town. I think he showed up last live stream. But, yeah, John, I got this. uh, John was wearing one of these, and I asked him where he got it from, and uh, he hooked me up with the website. I think it was Stephanie Hahn's website is where I bought it at. Good vibes, uh, elbow cough. Mm, Yeah. Yeah. All right, so um, I got some. I don't have none of this stuff in order, but um, I'm gonna try to. I got lotion on my hands, and I really don't like touch these um these uh berserker covers, man. Like I think these covers are tight, these foil covers, but this is like it's a crime scene. All right, call CSI, bro. Get some fingerprints off of these things. All 
Uh, yeah, I picked up my normal pull list and I grabbed an extra book uh, when I was at the LCS uh, the other day. And that was it, uh, which is my second copy of uh, Star Wars Legacy uh, Zero. Um, I believe that's the first cover appearance of Darth Talon. Yeah, my LCS, he let me get it for $20. So. Darth Talon, the sexiest Sith in Star Wars. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's my second copy of that. Alright, so I don't know where to go with this, dude. I mean, because it's like chaotic. There are books everywhere, but I'm going to do my best. Um, and for everybody that has time to hang out, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, this is a pretty dope cover. Uh, that Berserker. That silver joint is pretty cool. I mean, it's not really... I don't know. I just, I kind of like it for some reason. Yeah. I'm not really sure who did the cover. Um, then I got the Extreme Carnage, uh, Alpha. I had pre-ordered these. I didn't, I didn't put these books on my pool. Like, you know, just, I just wanted to get the first copy. And, uh, I, I picked up the, all the, um, Extreme Carnage issues, I believe. Uh, except for one I wasn't able to get. And, um, I got the Scotty Young and the Connecting covers. That's it. That was pretty much all I had grabbed. Um, I think this is the connecting cover. Yeah. Uh, collectible connecting trading card variant. I was actually at Walmart. Uh, if y'all guys check my Instagram story, I was at Walmart. Um, was it yesterday? The day before yesterday with my cousin. And they had, uh, you know, they had some decent comic books in there that I noticed. But I noticed they had the Extreme Carnage uh, number one. I guess it was the number one. It was the main, uh, the first one that just came out, I believe. And uh, they had a couple stacks of those in there with that on the front of it. But I didn't get it, you know. I didn't get it. I didn't get it, man. I can't get it, bro. I mean, dude. Y'all have no idea, man. And I, you know what? I think since um, like I know that I know that's how the community is, man. You guys like to joke, y'all joke a lot, y'all play around. But I know y'all don't have any like serious like hate in your heart when you're playing around and shit like that. Um, but me cutting my me cutting my list, bro. It was not what I wanted to do. It it was not what I wanted to do. I did not want to do it because I mean. At this point in my life, this is probably one of the tiny pieces of enjoyment that I actually get. You know what I mean? I actually, this is, I don't really get to hang out with my kids as much as I want. I don't really get to see them. You know, it's pretty much just me. Um, but, and I even thought about it. I even thought about like maybe cutting it down to a, a couple, you know, cutting it down to a couple. But this is this it's going to take me probably <laughs> it could take me a couple weeks to read all these books and then I got still got um uh, I think I was able to get um DC's books today. Sorry as I'm talking I'm like bagging the boards and sliding them over to the side. Let me go ahead and show you guys a couple of the books I did pick up. Uh Batman 110 A cover. All right, there we go. There we go. We back. We back. Check, 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 check. Yep. Camera's good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, Yeah, I know the sound just went out for a second. Yeah. Um, I know why he stuck that in my box. This is uh, Jeffrey v uh, Virgie or Virgie. 
uh, cover right there. Uh, prayers out to Jeffrey too, y'all. I know y'all guys seen a video in the post I did where he's Sorry guys, this thing keeps keep hitting the plug over here. We should be good. Hopefully if I don't bump anything. Um yeah, yeah, he's um he's uh I guess he's uh Taboo. I hit I messaged him the other day and asked him if he heard anything. He said he was gonna message his uh his wife and find out his condition. So here's a Peach Momoko, I believe. Um X Men number one cover. I didn't know what it was going to be before I got it. And, uh, yeah, okay. You already seen the Extreme Carnage, uh, Scotty Young. It's the Alpha, and that's the trading card uh, variant. Um, okay, that's it. There, so I guess we're going as we're going. Yeah, sounds good. I've scaled back a lot also, but those stray dog reprints are killing me. Dude, I, I, I haven't been able to get none of the reprints. I think I was only able to get, like, two of the reprints. So, um, nice house on the lake, number two. What in the fuck, man? There we go. I hope we're good. Chick, 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 chick. Let's see here. Oh my god, dude. We're gonna have technical difficulties tonight. Yeah, y'all can hear it too. Oh my god, dude. We're gonna have technical difficulties tonight. Yo, what is up, man? I have no idea what's going on, guys. Maybe we're all right now. I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, dude. I haven't been able to get none of those straight dog reprints, man. Like, not one. I think, well, like I said, I was able to get two. Uh, nice house on the lake, number two. I feel like maybe I should have just recorded this and edited it and put it out instead of went live. Um, let me get this shit. Um, Swamp Thing number five. The B cover. Um, got the Jenny Frizen. Uh, I pre-ordered two of these, but I guess I only got one. Uh, number 33. I pre-ordered, like, two of the number 34, uh, 35, two, I believe. I went into LCS yesterday, and I seen a couple of the Jenny Frizen books on the shelf. I was about to grab them all, and I was like, no, dude, stop. Stop. <laughs> you know, I'm like, in the hopes I might see Jenny again one day and get some more books signed and graded. Because out of all those Jenny Frizen signed Wonder Woman books I had, I sold all of them. Well, I sold all of them, and then I had two that I don't remember selling, and I can't find them. I went through every short box I had with slabs over here, and it could not find them. Uh, we got Marjorie Finnegan, which this book was crazy because it's a, it's, um, it's a, it's bag. It's in a bag. Um, yeah, pretty cool. AWA. God, I'm gonna miss those books as well. One through five reprints come out tomorrow. I won't be able to go, dog. Just God tank. That's it's, it's, it's really even if I was, man, I really don't give a shit. Honestly with you. I really don't give a damn. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Star Wars Bounty Hunter, you got Darth Vader. It's a pretty cool portrait cover right there. Um uh, War of the Bounty Hunters, Job of the Hut, number one. Um uh, got the 
other, I guess you call it a portrait uh, cover, I guess. Yeah, portrait variant maybe. They had one with uh, Dr. Afra in there, and I was I was in the LCS, and I went to grab that. And I just caught myself and was like, nah, put all this shit back, bro. Uh, nice house on the lake, number three. Got a B cover. It's pretty uh wicked cover right there. I like it. I like it. Uh, Swamp Thing number six. This is a crazy cover right here, dude. It's really sick. This is Matina. Uh, did Mike Perkins do it or did Matina do that cover? I believe Matina. It looks like a Matina cover. Yeah, this is a pretty wicked cover. Uh, Spawn 320. What in the hell's going on? Uh, yeah, God tank those hard covers are killing my wallet. Put that crap back. Damn right. <laughs> Spawn 320. Uh, guess I got all three covers. Which is really cool because the, the paper quality of these are like the last ones. I love the paper quality of these, man, but. Yeah. And uh Batman 110 right here. Dude, is that a jock cover? That's crazy right there. Who did that cover right there? Y'all guys know? I'm guessing is it a jock cover? I see the signature over there, but I don't Dude, what's up, man? Are you gonna act like this all night or I'll just Ugh. It keeps bleeping like something's wiggling in my uh, USB. Uh, whatever. Batman 111 right there. That's a pretty sick cover. I am so sick of this. With the hold on, hold on, hold on. I, ain't, I can't take. Hoping that fixes the situation. If not, uh, yeah, Jock. Okay, cool. That one eleven cover is kind of, kind of raw as well. And this um, Perillo uh, B cover is friggin' sick, dude. Uh, I mean, Harley's face looks kind of, kind of like she's. I don't know, like um, like. A, a man dressed up in drag in a way. I don't. Yeah, I don't think that was. Uh, I don't think that's. Um, I think that was that was my uh, plugs. My like my my mic that where plugs into the usb port i mean it goes into the midi but the 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 interface the the mic the the, the fast track the m audio fast track interface that i have my mic plugged in is plugged into my laptop and then my uh camera usb so it's like i got a couple and i got like a usb extension right there so it's all like wick that's what it was yeah i mean probably yes i probably do need my uh, antivirus kind of updated as well yeah but uh Chris is streaming on the flip phone. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so that was um. So we got Batman, Swamp Thing, Nice House on. Did I only get like one cover for Nice House on the Lake? Uh, there we go. So we got um Swamp Thing, Nice House on the Lake, Carnage. All right, Batman 110. All right, let me just kind of organize, guys. I apologize. 110, 111, 111, 110. I'll tell you what, that's that definitely looks like an A cover. So this is 111. That is not an A cover. 
That is a B cover, and that is a D cover, I reckon. So I didn't get a 111 A cover. Maybe I did. I don't know. Yeah, it's 111 um, variants. And then 110 Batman right there. Uh, nice house on the lake, number two. I got that. Okay. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's, I got everything mixed up. I probably got like the other copies in the bags over here. So I'm going to have to do the organizing part when I get off of here. So I'm taking up everybody's time. That's why, that's why I like to, that's why I like to record the, the haul videos, man. Unless you're like hanging out with a, a couple of people, just chopping up the shit. This is a lot better, but I, I like to record it and just edit it and put it out. Um, all right, here's the next bag. Yeah, I'll put these down in the box. I tell you what, though, what we'll do real quick. Go ahead and open this up. This is the the Yellowstone Yellow Snow Comics. Um, I've never ordered anything there from before, but um, Justice for Comics was uh. That's what happened uh, to me with that notification. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't even have nothing popping up on the screen as far as the... But I do need to get, I do need to get that, my antivirus uh, updated. All right. Yeah, this is a, this is a triple set. Um, okay, I kind of like the packaging in a way. It's different. Yeah, like they got a pool tab, but it's that side. Huh, I never, I've never done that before. But I might, might kind of bite that idea one day. It uses less painter's tape. Oh, and also, guys, I got to send everybody's books away. I've been BSing like crazy hard, guys. Um, I got... Um, I got Chad Fisher's win last week, um, the Venom set, um, and Joe, Joe, uh, Joey Bags. I got his, uh, three sets of Dark Soul right here. I got Pinky's books right here and God Tank. Uh, it's one, two comic talks win right here. Okay. One, two comic talk one these right here. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta get those out the door. I promise I'll have that done tomorrow. All right. Let's open this bag up. Yeah, this is, um, God, let me see. I totally forgot who did these sets. Let me look it up real quick. Um, let's see. Maybe it'll show it up here. Probably already show it's been delivered. There we go. There we go. Uh, nope, sorry, they went down. Okay, here we go. Um, Department of Yellow, Yellow Stow Comics, show details. Uh, Jay Ferguson exclusive uh, three book sketch set. I had no idea. I know what they look like on uh, in uh, the post. I just don't know what they look like in person. So, Need to rebag and board these things ASAP. Boy, I don't want to get no kind of bins on. Wow, well, okay, here we go. Here we go. That's um I don't know which issue this is. Uh, number 10 is this issue 10 right here all 
All right, this one is whoa. Uh, number nine. It's number nine right there. Yeah, and this one is number eleven, I guess. Yes, number 11. Let's see. Yeah, these are made out of the same like paper quality as the new spawn issues are. Kind of like very, very firm. It's not really... I like the paper quality. Yellow Snow Comics. All right, so yeah, so you got this is eleven, right? Uh, this is nine, and this is ten. Screen grab. All right. What up, dude? Uh, Mo, what's going on, brother? Trying to show off this massive comic book haul. So here goes the second stack of books tonight. CFAP. Oh, yeah, CFAP. My uh, LCS owner called earlier. Did you, did you get my message? I texted you. I guess they, they said they talked to you this afternoon when you called up there. All right. Okay, yeah. Here's the other Batman, number 11. Okay. So I did get an A cover. And here's Nice House on the Lake, number 3, A cover. Here's Batman, uh, 111, A cover. Who's that little girl on the left? Like Poison Ivy. Or, oh, I already know who it is. It's a girl's in the story. So, ooh, that's got a bend on it. That's nice. Nice house on the lake number three. Uh, one of them has a bend on it. Got a bend right there on the spine. Hmm. Not bad. Uh, Swamp Thing number six. Here's the A cover. A little, uh, like Predator, uh, could have reminds me like a, was it a Predator movie poster or something, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and then I got the Marjorie Finnegan, uh, Temporal Criminal. Uh, I got the A cover, I believe. Yeah. I don't understand. I think the B cover was bagged. In, it was it was in a bag, and then I bagged and boarded it again. So I don't I don't know why that was like bagged like separately. Maybe it's like some exclusive issue or something. I don't know. This is Garth Ennis, man. He's been writing this. I'm telling you, man. I'm going to miss those books. I'm going to miss all the books, man. But it is probably going to take. It's going to take me a couple weeks to read all this. I mean, I could go hard and just like not do anything. Maybe eat once a day, lock myself in a room, and just read. Uh, Marauders 22. I'm going to miss Marauders, dude, because Kate Pride, Kitty Pride, one of my favorite characters. Um, yeah. Going to miss it. Going to miss it all, man. Uh, we got Marauders 22. Okay, that was, um, 
That's the A cover. Okay, that was the B cover. Uh, we got Philadelphia. We got number 15. We got the A and the B cover. Uh, Gamma Flight, number two. The Return of Scar, Son of Hulk. Mm. So you got the uh, A cover and the B cover. Yeah. All right. D cover, B cover. Ooh, this is pretty. I like this one. I didn't even know I had this one. So now, uh, Scotty Young. Pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Uh, then, okay, then I got the Fage. Fage sorry. Um, Extreme Carnage. I got the Connecting and the uh, Scotty Young cover. So I've been, I, I grabbed like all the, uh, all the issues for these. Except one title, I can't remember which one it is. So I got the connecting and the uh, Scotty Young cover for each one of them. So, so those are the books I like pre-ordered. So even though I completely cut my entire pool list off, I still got books coming down the road. Like I said, and these are the only copy of Stray Dogs reprints I was able to get. You know, I won't be able to get none this week that I know of. Um, they came out today, uh, tomorrow, whenever. These are it. But I mean, on issues one through five, I, I got four copies of the first print, so I mean, I'm happy. I mean, it's, you know, that's what I'm saying, guys. I'm gonna be working on a comic book anonymous live stream. I'm gonna sit really down and maybe get the gears working. It's gonna be more funny than anything, but it probably could take some serious points, some serious points here and there. Serious turns here and there. Uh, the Resistance Uprising, number two. I had this in my box for like months. But I went ahead and picked it up. Oh, I did get the Dr. Africa. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I got Dr. Afra, the portrait cover, I guess you call this. So, yeah, so I got the, yeah, okay, cool. I didn't, I didn't know I had it. I didn't think I grabbed it, but I guess I did. Uh, these books were in my box as well um, because I, I cut the, I cut the story off, but I went ahead and grabbed issues four and five, uh, two moons. And I know my LCS owner today, he hit me up and he asked me, he says he had a copy of um, the Spirit, uh, Spirit of Vengeance, Spirit Rider, um, the Bills and Ke Sinkevich uh, incentive, and I was asking him. I was like, "Who? Mu how much?" He was like, 40 you know, which is cheaper than what it's selling for on eBay." But I'm like, "I, I'd love to get it, man, but I can't." I pre-ordered a couple copies of the A and the B cover because I want to do a giveaway uh, with that and the other, the Native American Captain America that's coming out in um, uh, United States of Captain America number three. Joe Gomez is the first appearance of that Native American. Sorry. It's the first appearance of Joe Gomez, the Native American Captain America. So I pre-ordered extra copies. Will I get those extra copies that I pre-ordered? I don't know. Uh, you know, because I pre-ordered extra copies of, I don't know, some of the books I have here, and I only got like one or two. So I don't know if my cousin sees when I, when I, when I order those extra copies. I'm not sure if he sees it or not. Maybe he does. I don't know. But at this point, man, it's probably a good thing if, if I don't get those extra copies. Cause, so, okay, and... I had bitter root. I got bitter root issues one through ten in my box, and I seen these on the shelf, and I'm like, it's uh, eleven through fourteen. I have not sit down. I have not read a single issue of bitter root yet. I want to sit down and read it. I'm definitely gonna sit down and read it. Might have to be in trade. I don't know. I got a couple copies of number one. I got like, I got a couple. Uh, I got a couple exclusive covers. I got a couple copies of number one for sure. I got a couple slab copies of number one. I got a couple uh, exclusive issues for number six. 
like low print run, I believe like 500 print or something like that. Um, but yeah, I got 11 through uh, 14 here. I don't know where the story is at this point. It might be an issue 15, might be 17, might be 20. I don't know where it is right now. But, you know, if I can find the other issues, like, I might pick them up and sit down and read them because I want to check that story out. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So here goes the last uh, massive stack. So, yeah, this entire month's worth of books came out to $384. That is not what I paid, though. That's what it came out. Uh, what was that? 384. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three, so it was um it was three oh three hundred and five dollars is what I spent with my discount. You know what I mean? Then I had to buy bags and boards, which that was another twenty dollars. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know, man. TC had when TK had brought that up last time I was live, like, why didn't why don't you just cut some of the books off and keep the ones, you know, some of the books you actually love? So y'all guys don't understand, man. I, I don't like to put all my, 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 my business out on a uh, front street. But I it's I don't know, dude. Maybe just leave. So anyways, um Geiger number four. Uh I got Geiger number four. Got the A and the B cover. This has been a really good story as well. I've been liking that. Uh, Immortal Hope 48. I got uh, A and the B cover, I believe. And the Homage cover is really tight. I like these. And Alex Ross, I guess. That is a Homage cover, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, Bounty Hunters, War of the Bounty Hunters, Bounty Hunters number 14. This is supposed to be the first appearance of that character. Um, I had pre-ordered a, quite a few copies of that. I guess I only got like three or four of them. So, which, like I said, at this point, it might be it's a good thing. See the character on the cover right there. Her. That's the, and then another um, portrait cover, I believe. Oh, sorry. I didn't even check out what none of the comments are saying. I'm sorry. Uh, I dropped cap as soon as I heard they started pushing political BS. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know nothing about that. I'm pretty much sure. Um, I got it for that. I got the only, only thing I picked up was the one uh, with the Native American character. Yeah, everything's getting. I mean. See, my Captain America would be the book they, they would put push the political BS at, though, you know? I mean, you, you would think you would hear, you would see the political BS at Captain America rather than see it over at Venom, you know? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I, uh, it's just getting crazy these days, bro. I feel you. I feel you on that. What's up? Hi, everyone. What's up, brother? How you been doing, bro? What's that? My damn car. Oh, Woo, that's my damn car payment. Oh, yeah. Geiger is amazing. I just paid off one of my cars early. I'm hella happy. Hell yeah, dude. Congratulations. Yeah, I cut back a ton uh, on my floppies. Really enjoyed tra uh, trade reads. Just picked up some Modoc trades since I love the show. You yeah, haven't watched that show yet. I've seen it. It was, it was out, but I haven't gave it a shot yet. LOL, as soon as I paid off my Silverado period, my en uh, check engine light started flashing. Oh, God. Yeah, the Ghost Rider with that Native American character this week. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Kushala. It's uh, Kushala's one shot. So. Oh, Spirit is horrible, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kushala Warpath got it. Uh, fair enough, Chris. I just want to enjoy comics without hearing the BS in the world. Yeah, dude. That's why. That's why. Man, I, I ain't. I haven't watched any kind of news in a hot minute. I don't even know what's going on in the world. Uh, also, ooh, I also got another copy of uh, Bounty Hunters number fourteen. So I guess I did. Oh, okay, so I got one, two, 
three, four. I think I did get. I think that is all the covers. I think that yeah. I think these are all the issues I ordered for that first appearance of that character. Matter of fact, I know it is. Yeah. So, boom, got it. X Force Twenty One. God, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it, bro. I love Benjamin Percy's work. Um, nice house on the lake, issue number two. So, okay, I got two copies of the A cover. Weird, but yeah, I'll take it. It's a crazy good story. I mean, in, anything James Tinyan, Tinyan, uh, I'm Tinian. I'm gonna call him James Tiny Onion. James Tiny Onion puts out is gonna, you know, shoot. They might they'll start jack, jacking everything up. To secondary market prices. You know, because it's a James Indian book, man. It's going to blow up. They're going to make a movie out of it, is what they're assuming, which dude's a hella good writer, you know. Uh, the Swamp Thing, uh, number five, this is the A cover. So I got the B cover. The B covers are sick. I love the B covers. I love Swamp Thing, too, man. Cherry Blackbird. Now, I picked up three copies of these second prints because I wanted to give one away. Or, no, you know, maybe one or two because I got – I've got a copy of the second print. I've got the glow in the dark. I've got three or four copies for the number one issue. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got, I, I could do two, I could give away two of these. It's not like, you know, cause I, I kind of would like for these to go to someone who hasn't read the story yet that, you know, might turn them over to the dark side, you know, this may turn you over to the dark side. Uh, Scream, uh, number one. Scotty Young cover. Love the Scotty Young cover. Oh, yeah, that Scotty, that Scotty Young book was in the LCS yesterday. Um, this might be the last book you ever read or something like that. It was in the LCS, if that's the one you're talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting it. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to have to miss out, dude. Don't go see Snake Eyes or watch It's So Lame. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet, neither. I've seen the previews of it, but. Um, Thor, Revelation starts here. Yeah, what's going on with Thor? Oh, Kate's still writing. It's the battle between him and Captain America is about to start. Uh, Silver Coin, number four. Got two A covers for that. Uh, Fight Girls. I only got two covers. I'm kind of bummed out. I know there was three. Uh, yeah. Can't wait to read it. God, I got so much reading to do. Uh, Firepower, number 13. Kind of thin. Are you totally done with comics, Chris? No house of slot. I mean, dude, I pre I, I pre ordered a lot of the free comic book day issues coming out for free comic book day. Um, I guess it's coming up here soon. Soon, and I ordered a bunch of the free comic book day issues. It said twenty five cent on the LCS website. I'm assuming that all the free comic book day stuff coming out on free whatever whatever that's supposed to be. If that is coming up, I don't know if that was a, a false post on the website, but uh, I pre-ordered a bunch of the free comic book day stuff. So, ah, dude, I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I'd, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know, bro. I, I can't. I, you know, I, I want to bad, bro. Uh, Department of Truth, uh, six. I don't know, man. Maybe we could talk off live, live or something like that, and I could tell you the situation why I can't. I don't want to tell the whole community. Um, all right, Chariot. This book just got you know, the book just got picked up. the The director of Top Gun is supposed to be uh, working on the. I don't know. I'm not sure who's doing the writing. It might be a uh, Byron. Uh, Is that Brian? Byron, yeah. Uh, he might be doing the right. But, yeah, they're working on a movie for this movie. Or, yeah, I believe it's a movie. It's going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to see it. 
<laughs> oh, that's the number four. I didn't even know there was a. This is cool. This is a really, really papery, you know, definitely paper. I guess the other one was foil, so. Yeah. Uh, High Republic, number seven. Uh, I believe this issue, I read a spoiler, it said it brings back the Wayseer, who is a form of Jedi that only lives by the Force. Like, you know, they, they take all their orders based off their feelings of what the Force wants them to do. And that character is supposed to show up in this issue. I only got one issue, one copy. Uh, uh, yeah, vinyl. I can't wait to read this. Two, two little redheads, dude. Let me tell y'all guys. I watched a movie last night, right? It's called uh, Fear Street. Fear Street 19. God, which one was it? There's three movies you got to watch, Perry. I don't know if you've done a reaction for this yet. I'm pretty sure you will. <laughs> Oh my god, boy. Um, let's see. Fear Street movies. There's three Fear Street movies you gotta watch. Alright, there's Fear Street. The first one is Fear Street 1994. I messed up and didn't watch that. The only one I watched was Fear Street uh 1978, which was crazy. It kind of gave me the vibe of those old Friday the thirteenth movies, you know, because they're they're kind of it's a bunch of kids uh, off at summer camp, you know, by this lake. I guess there's a lake somewhere. I don't know if we ever see. We don't, I don't think we ever see a lake, but I'm pretty sure there's a lake somewhere in the woods. And there's a bunch of kids out there camping. All of a sudden, just people getting axed up and murdered, dude. I mean, it's gory as hell. And then sure, you got two kids wanting to have sex right in the middle of a mass murderer running around killing everybody. Uh, they did not get killed in the middle of sex, though, which was kind of a bummer. Because, you know what I mean? I used to always hate that in the Friday 13th, like, Dude, why do you, you know, I was young at the time, too. He's it like, why do these people want to be doing this right now? You know, all, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, so it's Fear Street Part 1, 1994. Fear Street Part 2, 1978. Fear Street Part 3, 1966. No, no, 1666. Three sixes in that. I don't even feel comfortable saying the title. Uh, saying the title. Yeah, yeah, Fear Street, dude. But that, that crap was crazy, bro. I mean, I only watched one of the movies, so I feel like I got to go back and watch the, the first part. I, I didn't know the order to watch them until actually I Googled it. So, uh, I've been watching The Sopranos for the first time. I'm loving it. Oh, dude. Come on, man. Get about it. Get about it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Paulie, bro. Paulie, Paulie is one of my favorites on uh, Sopranos. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, the the R.L. Stein story. Is he the one that does no movies? I need to watch those those, those series. Yo, it's crazy. Uh, Slim is crazy. Pretty good. Slim, happy and healthy, can't complain. God tank. That's one of my favorite shows. It feels like home to me. <laughs> Yo. Oh, yeah. Fear Street on Netflix. Yeah, it is on Netflix. Yeah, okay. Obviously, I didn't watch it on Netflix. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got to check it out. I just watch as above, so below on Netflix. Pretty good. I just finished Hills Have, Hills Have Eyes. Yo, Hills Have Eyes was crazy, especially that one where they steal that little baby. Dude, dude puts all his effort into getting that damn kid back. Crazy, man. No worries, brother. We all get slapped with life. I definitely have lately. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. It's, it's wild, man. It was a bloodshot. See, Fat, you weren't wrong. That movie was terrible. Oh, yeah, bloodshot. Yeah, dude. All right. Oh, yeah. So I'm almost done with all the books, man. I'm serious. Um, ha ha, number six. I uh, got one cover here. Ha ha number six got one cover right here, like I said. Uh Wolverine. Oh no, sorry. Ha ha number six. Got the other cover right there. That is the C cover. That's the A cover. It's a C cover if you're doing the letters. Um and then Wolverine uh number fourteen. 
So, yeah, they're bringing Solemn back, I believe, right? Let me go ahead and take a peek in this book real quick, see if they did bring him back. All right, I'm going to do more in the peak. I'm going hardcore. Put some spit on my hand. About to go in it. About to go deep. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm deep. I'm deep up in it right now. Very deep. Ooh. He's got his claw up his nose. No, I don't see him in here. Not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, he shows up. <laughs> he must show up right at the end. That is him. Yep, that is him. Oh, I got like a bunch of copies of his first appearance. I got a couple of exclusive sets too. I think it was a uh, Wolverine. Was it six? I believe it was Wolverine six was his first uh, appearance, I believe. Uh, Moss, AWA Upshot book. This book is crazy. It's pretty damn good. The interior, the art. Look at that cover, dude. Beautiful art. Just give you like a little taste of what. Look, look at the interior. Look at inside this. Ah, dude. Camera sucks. So it's crazy, bro. It looks almost like real. Like, like a real picture. Like somebody took a snap, snap the picture with a camera or something. You know, it's crazy. Uh, die. I got die number 18. And you know what's crazy? It's like I've got every single issue of die. I even got some multiple copies up near issue five, I believe. I got A and B covers all the way through die. A and B covers. You know, and it's like I'm so I'm so knee deep into this book, like just cutting it off right now. This is this is, you know. To my to my kind of completionist in me, yeah, it's gonna suck, man. It's gonna suck. Oh, hey, I, so I got Scream, Scotty Young cover. I have Scream, the connecting uh, trading card variant as well. Very sick. Not sure who did the cover for it. Uh, Canto, Lionhearted. I also picked up. I grabbed. I grabbed three or four more copies of Number One and put them in my box. Yeah, I know. It's right. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So, um, oh, Star Wars, High Republic, Adventures, number six, which is supposed to be the first appearance of, I believe, the Jedi that all Jedis kind of look up to. He's their Superman, their Batman, their Lex Luthor, however. He's their hero. I don't know the guy's name yet, but he's been on every cover almost since issue one. I don't really know what the big deal with this issue yet. I did read a spoiler a while back. Uh, I know there was a big deal on this one issue here for a while, and I knew about it before the issue dropped. I don't know, like, I could have, like, because I had read, you know, some articles people were writing and stuff. Uh, I can't, the Screen Rant, I can't remember the article I read. I got it saved on my phone, but uh, it gave a breakdown of it, and then, yeah. I think Die ends at 20. Do tell. Well... Hey, like I say, bro, uh, I'll tell you right now, die, my issue of die, don't, let me look when my, the last issue is pulled out from my box. It says final pull August the 9th. Well, so if it don't come out, if it comes out this week, after this week, man, I'm probably going to miss out. Like, night, I don't know. Yeah, all I got is 18, so it's two more issues. Well, you know what? If I don't get it at my LCS, I can always like go on a website or maybe walk into LCS one day. I don't think they order extra copies of a uh, die though, so I'll probably have to order from a website. Um, Darth Vader, number fourteen. I think I got two copies of this, right? Yeah, I showed one earlier. So yeah, I got two covers. Yeah, Lisa sent me one of these. That's right. Big shot, to Lisa. She sent me. Some oof, man, see that y'all seen that 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 Perillo cover right there? Sorry, I'm trying to get her. I'm trying to get her eyes in the focus. Can y'all see those eyes? 
I can't see my camera because the damn book's blocked. Can y'all see those eyes? Those are some beautiful eyes, man. She's got like what are those green eyes? I can't tell, bro. God damn camera. I cannot see because the book's in the way. But yeah, look at those eyes, man. Is it green or, or what, bro? It's so, you know, big and uh. Okay, anyway, yeah, I don't know. Look like they're green. Yeah, they're green. So, anyways, uh, scumbag number nine. I got the A and the B cover for that as well. God, I love scumbag too, bro. Scumbag. Uh, something's killing the children. I don't know if a B cover came out. I'm assuming only this cover came out because, um, yeah, I don't know, dude. Maybe it's only one cover. Nah, it probably was a B cover. We didn't get any at my LCS. All he did was pick up this cover here. This is a sick cover, though, bro. Got the head, head honcho on the cover, it looked like. Um, and uh, Department of Truth. Got issues 11. I got the A, B, and the C cover. That's the C, C cover right there. Got the A cover right there. Whoa. And the B cover. So this is supposed to be about Bigfoot, right? That looks more like a gorilla. But I haven't read it yet, so I don't know what's going on. Pretty sure you guys have already read all this stuff. This is it, guys. This is my legacy. Yeah, but um, like I said, I got the. I don't know where um, Bitter Root is right now. If it's on issue fifteen, uh, but I have not read a single issue of Bitter Root yet. I think I probably want to get this in trade and read it and maybe, you know, fence off my copy, sell them off, whatever, when, whenever, whoever. Yeah, to be sure. And um, Two Moons, this is a crazy story. This is a really crazy story right here, dude. Y'all not reading Two Moons, man. Straight up good. All right. Speaking of Native Americans, uh, as I like to do quite often, uh, but yeah, I actually just started watching a TV series last night. I watched season one last night. That's why I didn't get no sleep all night. Uh, starring Kevin Costner. It's called Yellowstone. <sighs> Crazy, bro. It's really good. It's kind of like, you know, Cowboys and Indians. um, Sopranos or what's that book, that TV show with all the riding through this world all alone. Uh, what was the fucking name of that show? The Bikers, man. I'm lost. Uh, nice variants. I like the B cover. I really need to get back into comic book collecting. Nah, yeah. Lisa dropped an AOK. -okay. Yeah, dude. That was a nice little AOK. -okay. Have you been reading the Bounty Hunters War art in Star Wars? Yeah, I've been reading it. Um, so far, yeah, I've been reading it. Uh, well, I've been mean, getting the, the tie-ins, I guess you could say, as well. All right, so we got... Yeah, dude, these are, these are really, really cool. I like these. This issues issues nine, ten, and eleven. Sons of Anarchy. That's the name of the damn show I was thinking about. <laughs> like the Cowboys are a gang. Which I believe back in the day, that's how it all started, right? Cowboys were gangs. That's why they were on that Wired Earth movie. Um, oh, and, and uh, also, 
I showed this earlier, at least I thought I did. Um, I actually picked up my second copy of um, Star Wars Legacy uh, number zero. I believe that's the first cover appearance of uh, Darth Talon. Twilight. Mm. I would date a Twilight. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Um, so where's that book at? I said I'll do a giveaway. This is a lot of books, bro. Like I am not lying, so that's why I figure it's going. To, it's going to take me. I mean, it, it's it probably take me a couple of weeks, because I don't know if I would be able to like devote every day of my life to sit down trying to knock all these books out, and um, so cutting my pool list off, as you can tell, uh, everything's starting to get around time because it's starting to say final pools August 9th. Final pools August 9th. So most of all my books, they, they, yeah, everything, every, everything. So what was that? That was like a, what, a week or two ago when I did that live stream where I cut all the books off my pool list. Yeah, they're all ending. They're all ending um, next week. This was coming up week. Yeah. Um, I think Batman, Berserker, Bitterroot, and Batman all final pools or on august the 18th so that means if i don't click on it to renew it that'll be it and if i do renew it around the time it's supposed to end it'll take another two weeks before it actually shows up on my pool list so i'm going to miss books regardless and yeah i mean i just, just got to do this bro i got to do this i've been pretty i've been grinding i've been grinding so gotta get the automobile see so yeah cherry blackbird I got, uh, let me pull up this wheel real quick, dude. Send you guys off with a nice little, uh, right. Chad Fisher last win on there. Yeah, um, so I'm going to go ahead and, yes, that video was shocking. Dope, I hope, do her in a show or a movie or anything. Who is that? We got to talk about nice books. Yes, Dr. Alpha, probably one of the best characters introduced into Star Wars comics. I don't know a whole lot about her except what I've been reading, uh, reading of her in the Bounty Hunter Wars. That's it. I, I never picked up any of her issues. Have you been reading Bounty Hunter? Yeah, I okay, guess I read it. Sorry. Um, okay. So, yeah, here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do one of these, uh, give away one of these cherry blackbirds. Now, one thing I asked, though, you know what I mean? Cause I really, I really, I really, really would prefer, even if you get it and you don't, you don't think you'd be into get it, 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 you know, I would really, really love for whoever is going to get these to actually not have read them and would really be open to, you know, cause these things are sealed up though. They're like sealed in a bag. So I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird taking them out of that, but yeah. So I would kind of be hoping who would ever maybe be interested in winning these would actually and if you don't feel like that, this would be something you're into. Like, um, have it like the f first page, right? No, I'm not going to ruin it for you. If you didn't see the video and I ruined it, it's a dildo and a butthole. And that's kind of where I'm going to leave you at on the first uh, page or two, first, second, or two page. Uh, if you have not read it, I would really, really hope that if you have not read it, you read this and really like it. You know what I mean? Because I love the book. I actually picked it up. Uh, it was a, you know, a Kickstarter in the beginning when I read it, and it was crazy. It blew my mind. So I'm like, all right, 
Um, I'm kind of hoping whoever gets a chance to get this actually would really, really love to have it. You know what I mean? It's just not like you're just not just doing this just to, you know, because uh, just to show your support in my giveaway. Uh, it's not this right here. ain't even about that. And if, and if you win it, you feel like that's not something you'd be interested in. Pass it on to somebody else. You know what I mean? Pass it on to somebody else. Because the book is good. It's good. It's good. It's crazy good. Uh, Crucis Ben and complete. Uh, Christina. Superior. Sub TK. Oh, shit, I went right past it. God dang. I swear to God, it's, it's going to take me a minute to read all these damn books. Chaos. If I pass my name. You should have some back on the show. Yeah. There's definitely a whole bunch more on the show. What am I cheering Oh, uh, um, I'm going to give away, uh, yeah, I mean, I got like, I got a couple copies of number one, I got a couple exclusive covers, I got a second print, but I actually picked up three copies, and, uh, I kind of want to turn, I kind of want to pop somebody's cherry, so to speak, you know, so hopefully somebody wins these, but I'm telling people, I know people are like, they get, We've got some people that are so addictive into jumping into these contests that it's like, I feel like that's that's your daily job. Y'all looking around like, wait, wait, who's who's, who's, doing, who's got a contest? Got a... Oh God, you know you're trying to interview. No, no, I, I really want to turn somebody on to this book, man, because chaos knows, man. That first book, dude, that was, <laughs> it was crazy, man. So I want to, I want to like hopefully get somebody to uh chance to experience it. So, okay, I got 12 people on the, the wheel. Uh, Warpath, make 13. All right. Yeah. All right, okay, so that's good. We're good. Let me get it pulled up. There we go. Yeah. All right. Shift it up. I am just gonna go ahead and rock it. I think we got it here. Look screen. Um, we'll do a quick elimination and let that be that. Here we go, guys. Good luck.
Six for up. Nope, so we're incomplete. Incomplete. Mm. All right. Okay, shift up again, guys. C Fab, we gotta go hit C Fab. C Fab. Oh man, sorry, bro. We got next up. Let's switch up a little bit. All right, shift it. Good luck. <laughs> We got, we got, oh, it's going to be, no, it's going to be God Tank. It's going to slide on past God Tank. I'm making sure it's going to be my son or Agu. It's that slow roll. Oh my God, this looks like my son. Oh, man. Sorry, brother. Shift this up again. Slow roll. Tank of Argo for sure. Mm. Oh, do the slow roll. Oh, God Tank. Damn. It's really a TV here in the music. There we go, shift it up. Go.
Damn, these books might take up a whole short box, ain't they? Once you got them bagged and boarded, shit. No way I'm gonna be able to read all these damn things in a fucking week. Oh no, it's like getting rid of a damn girl. From, getting rid of a girl that's always in your pocket. Oh, Christina. Damn, I'm sorry, girl. Shit. Big shout out to Christina, dude. She was cooking the other night. Got me hungry. Quarter to ten, I drank gin. Rolled up a bag of that weed with my friend. She got L's, I got L's. We both spin. Light it up, girl. <clears throat> Let's do it again. Oh, shit. Ben. Damn, Ben, Ben. It's definitely Ben. I don't care how much. Not a little slow row, row in the Slow row in the world. Let's do that. All right. Where we at. It's time to break out the clown. What's that clown joint, dude? Crazy clown. So it's a wild beat right there. One, two, three, four, five. Four. I know, man. I need to um, switch up yeah, names. Baby. Could go past Warpath, right to Argu. I don't know. Oh, dude. The gods might be on your side today. Oh, shit. Warpath. Warpath, I got a feeling you're going to win one day. Disco, that's what that's all about. Oh, Slim. Got a feeling Slim is superior. Oh, Slim. It's going to be funny, man. Chaos is probably going to win it. Strong base. All right, guys. We're almost there. I'm sorry to... You guys are probably already left. I can't.
Chaos. Oh, damn. And Blue bleeding into each other. What are y'all, twins? Siamese twins? Oh, Agu. Damn, I really wanted Agu to have that book. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if he even read it yet. Uh, happy beat. Like corny and shit. All right, here we go. <laughs> That's actually a cut from Takashi 69's new album. It's called Mickey Mouse is Dead. I am the king. Chaos. Oh. And slowly as their names disappear, so do they. I can't see the live stream right now because I'm on the other page. I'm pretty sure there's probably like four people watching right now. Big shout out to the four people, I'm assuming. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know. Here we go. I'll switch that up real quick. Groundwork. Oh, let's try that grunge. There we go. That's a little hardcore right there. All right. Last three people up on the wheel. Will it be Las Cruces, TK, or Superior Hero? My brother from North Carolina. I had to keep the. Let's go. Let's do it. No talk. Dude, I wasn't even. I was guessing this was gonna be a this month was gonna be a short box worth of books, and I was kind of playing with the idea that I was gonna get. It actually is a short box full of books. Once you add the boards and bags to it. Kind of puts on a little bit of uh, a couple LBs. Oh, that's Cruces. My man, you gone and is left to TK and uh, Superior. TK hasn't won anything in a while. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> I'm rooting for Jesus. <laughs> I wish I could. Can I pin that? That's a hell. No, all I can do is put user in timeout or block him. Kind of reaching for the ladder. Uh, yeah, yeah. We can do any. Anybody want to do any side bets? Uh, who may win? You want to want to bet a comic book? Uh, you should, if you ever played dice, you know if you ever been in the. Uh, it's just not. A, I don't think it's a hood thing, but. Yeah, it probably is, but a little dice on the on the side of uh on the corner. You know, 7 Eleven, 7 Eleven. Uh you can do side bets. You know, you could bet the person might hit a three or a four before they hit the, the, the winning number, or you know, side bets. We got side bets. Who's gonna win? This is really, really uh 16, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't see. I was on the other screen. So, anyways. No side bets. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Let's go ahead and break this on out. Need to give these guys uh, 
fitting, fitting uh, music for this last one right here. Uh, here we go, guys. Good luck, TK. Uh, I feel like TK is going to win, though. I mean, I'm not, not ruining out my boy, my boy Superior. I'd hope my boy Superior win. Uh, either way, good luck, guys. Who is it going to be? Remember that slow roll. It could land on one and just easily slide to the other one. But if you win it, you better really, it better be, I'm telling you, man. Money's tight around here is all I'm saying. I want this shit to go to the home. It needs to be. Oh, TK fucking lost. <laughs> TK is, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he's won in a minute. I still, I, mean, I got your address. Uh, Superior is the winner. Congratulations, Crips versus Bloods. Uh, go ahead and bust up uh, Superior's name real quick. Here, congratulations! Pass that to TK though. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can pass it if you want. Cherry Blackbird, guys. There's a dildo and there's a. You know what I'm saying? It's a dildo in a man's butthole. I'm going to leave that image in you. If this may be the book you want, take it. If not, please pass it to somebody who actually might have that type of, they, you know, they might really, really want to read this book. I'm saying. <laughs> it's like it's a dildo in a man. <laughs> the selling points aren't there. They aren't there. I, I, I mean, I assure you, you can all see that, but still. The book is good. It is a good book. I really, you know, I just wish I could like turn everybody that who hasn't read it onto it. You know what I mean? That's how much that first book kind of really had an impact on me. Pass TK though. TK, if you want it, you want it. Mel butthole at that. Yeah, yeah. Mel butthole. But it's, it's don't really get fixated on the butthole. It's just that's just so it's it's. It's here and it's gone. It's like you see it and that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah, story's good, though. Story's good. Say pass it on TK. TK, you want it? I haven't read it, but I've won a lot from you, 2-6. Let somebody else win. Uh, that's Hey, I'm, I'm going to let that up, up to y'all. I just want somebody to read this book, man. Tell me tell me who it needs to go to so I, I don't wrote one name on the back of it. I could, I could change the name of it. I got another copy I was going to give away, too, though, so. Just draw bat ears on. <laughs> I always get fixed. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so. Congratulations to whoever won it. I'm assuming Superiors gave it to TK. Did TK accept? Do you accept it, TK? Blood in, blood out, brother. Blood in, blood out. Once you're in, man, you can't get out. You know what I'm saying? Dude. TK accepts. All right. Now, when you get this book, 
I want to see a video of your breakdown of this book. <laughs> I want to see you explain what you read. All right. T K There we go. TK back cave on the back. I hate these bags and boards, bro. Yeah, my LCS didn't have any BCW bags, Silver Age bags. All they had was um these regular kind, man, but he told me pretty soon he don't know if he's going to have any more bags and boards. He said he said he ordered a lot from BCW, um, but none of it's came in yet. So he's he's probably the way he was sounding. He don't know if there's going to be any bags and boards here pretty soon at all. So I'm like, oh god, might be a good time. I'm not buying any more comic books. Be honest with you, you know. That's like, you know, milk, uh, cereal with no milk. Sure, you can use water, but it don't taste quite the same. Hold on a second. I am almost done with these books, bro. Now I got to go through in a minute and put all these on the CLZ app. You know what I mean? How many of y'all use CLZ? Hold on a second. Can slow down. Go up, go up. Come on, bro. Get to the page. There we go. All right, here we go. I wasn't able to upload this commercial to, uh, my um my stream yard yeah what it wouldn't let me upload this earlier to my stream yard so hopefully you guys can check it out on here duke's mayonnaise let's see here There we go. So let's see if we can get this. Uh, hopefully it plays good, guys. I don't know how how it's going to sound or look on the screen, but here we go. From our sponsors, Duke's Mayonnaise. It was for dinner. When I'm up at the house making me a sandwich, put me a little bit of that good old mom Duke's on it, and somebody walks up to me and says, hey, what about Hellman's? What about Miracle Whip? I look back. I look at them, look at the drown, put some baby powder on my hand, and then I smack the shit out of them for bringing up such a shitty comparison to what real mayonnaise should be. Dukes, what's for dinner? Mm. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. I'm all out of bubble Another commercial break from my sponsor. Uh, granted, I don't think it's as probably good as the last one, but and also I tried I tried God Tanks Dukes is what's for dinner. I don't know, man. I've heard it's what's for dinner. I think it was A1 sauce or something else. That's already been used. Dukes has got twain. That's actually the same that Dukes Mayonnaise has got on their website. So, I mean, I feel like Dukes has got twang. It doesn't sound as good as it's, it's for dinner. It's what's for dinner. Granted, but, you know, come on. Big shout out to Dukes. Dukes, I need my sponsor. You know? <laughs> Chris got a Dukes 5. <laughs> Hold on, I didn't get to read that. That shit went too far. Chris got a Dukes... I bet he's... 
<laughs> we spin in the wheel. Yo, yeah, we spin. I got one more uh, bu- 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 book to give away. I'm going to give away it. I simply, uh, I collect a lot after me. Yeah, um, I don't know, is it I collect? The CLZ app, I believe, hold on. CLZ. Yeah, you can search for your comic, update comic book values and it, Oh, it does that. It, it, you, it, uh, this will check and update the graded comics in this collection with values from Go Collect. Uh, continue, yeah. So, uh, I thought that was what you were saying. Something different. Dude, that little that little bottle of Duke's mayonnaise blew my mind when I seen it in the in the <laughs> Duke's. That's my <laughs> that's my Duke's. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, I got one more. Yes, Hellman's is shit. So is Miracle Whip. Yeah, bro. If you go... To take a regular vegetable oil and whip it, turns into Miracle Whip. That ain't nothing but oil. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I can't do Miracle Whip, man. We not a Miracle Whip group over here on my channel, man. So if you if you fuck with Dukes and and, and Hellman's, you're welcome. You're welcome to be around here with everybody else. But you know. Seriously, behind closed doors, we talk shit about you. I'm just, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got um, uh, I got one more copy of Cherry Blackbird second print. I mean, I ordered a couple, you know, so I will give another one of those away real quick. All right, I got two more books, and then we are done bagging and boarding this month's worth of books. All right. Damn right. Throw that shit on a banana sandwich. Fire. Yeah, man. All right, Superior, know what's up? North Carolina, baby. Y'all know how we do it around here. Hopefully, you can tell by my accent, I ain't from the big city. Shit, them youngins around there be playing games too much. Y'all crazy. I remember my ex girlfriend from New York, bro. She, she she used to get a kick out of hearing me talk. That's probably back then. My accent was a lot stronger. So look, check this out. This is um, this is the comic hall, right? In a box. This is short with bags and boards. Almost a month's worth of. Uh, that's a month's worth. Almost a full, full short box. Yeah, big shot. These these covers here, dude. It's tight. I want to hopefully get these signed and graded, man, one day. That'll probably never happen. All right. Yeah, I don't know what book to start reading first. I guess I'm going to have to go. I don't know what I'm going to start at. This is going to be a tight situation. So I got, um, like I said, I got one more Cherry Blackbird that I'll give away. These are the second prints.
right. Okay. A little tip. If you ever toast your hamburger buns, use Dukes instead of butter. Ooh, nicely. Never heard, never tried that. Yeah. This is really fun. A lot of people shit on it, but I really enjoy it. Squadrons? What is that? Is that like a... Uh, God dang, grilled cheese with Dukes instead of butter. Have you tried it? Uh, yes, sir. Really bad for your heart, but great for your soul. Oh, dude, yeah. Oh, okay. Did you start playing Star Wars Squadrons yet? Nah, dude. I mean, I beat I beat the story on um um Fallen Order. I beat the story, but I still got to go back and like collect some of the like the hidden cases and stuff that I didn't find. I didn't find all those, so I haven't really completed the game. But I beat the story on it. It was just pretty crazy when Darth Vader showed up at the end. I was like, holy crap! Time to roll. Fuck that. If you don't do dupes, then go. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll tell you what, guys. I'll tell you what. Next giveaway, I'm giving away a little bottle of Duke's mayonnaise. Yeah. I got it. I got it in the refrigerator. You seen it? So here we go. Um, Last Cherry Blackbird. I'll give away this. Video game, bro. Check out the trailer. What the oh the squadrons? Yeah, I seen the uh, I'm gonna check track. Is it out yet? I know I heard that they got that battlefield game coming out. I'm like, dude, I remember playing Battlefield One. I never played any of the other battlefields. Battlefield One was crazy. That was fun. You get the damn choppers, the tanks, you getting all kind of shit and move around. That was now we're talking. All right. Here we go. Get the Hashtag. All right. So the next one uh, will be um, Cherry Blackbird just put in hashtag Dukes. And we will do this giveaway and be done with it. Yeah, man. I've seriously got this. this these comic books, bro. It's just consumes your life yeah i think i might get that battlefield this year too when does it come out uh god tank warpath god tank. Craig is not here. Where's he at? Let's see, collects. What's up, guys? Uh, 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 oh, sorry. Let's see, Fep. Christine, Christina, dude, Greg, all right, uh, Z, October twenty second, I think. Okay, yeah, it ain't too far away. Let me go back up to the top of the list, make sure I got everybody. Uh, Superior, God Tank, Superior, Warpath, God Tank, Z Click, Z Fat, Christina Craig. One, two, seven names. One, two, 
<laughs> yeah, I said the hood. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, dude. I had to get my homeboy to come over here with his uh, camera, bro. He's got a very high dollar camera. And I was like, man, I got some really funny little skits I'd like to shoot. Maybe I'll come over here one day and we can get that done, man. Uh, I just had to see that. Sorry. Uh, all right, so hipsters. So you spent 384. Yeah, I spent 384 with my discount. It came out to 307 and some change. So I ended up spending $305. And then I had to get bags and boards, which was another $20. I got to hook my daughter up for her birthday, man. I haven't even heard from her. I don't know. I don't know what. Kind of makes you, you know, kind of makes you not really want to do something for somebody that don't really have the time, time, you know, pick up time of day to pick up the phone and call you, text you, send you a letter, hate mail, something. You know, pass word down to the family. You know, tell your uncle. Maybe he tells his cousin and then it gets to grandma, uh, Aunt Pam, Uncle Jimmy, and all of a sudden it gets to me. You know, yeah, that was... Yeah, but I got to hook her up as well. Yeah, yeah, 384. How many books? I know I counted like 64 uh, when I was at the checkout. Somewhere somewhere like that. I think it was, it was over 60-something, so yeah. Yeah, you see, it's almost a short box. Yeah, like I said, then I got these exclusive covers from Yellow Yellow Snow Comics. Um, sketch covers. I noticed the print run on these was real low. Uh, but it was issues 9, 10, and 11. I think that's, that could be 9 or 10, I forget. Department of Truth. And you got that one. And it's J... J. God, what was his name? Uh, J. Ferguson exclusives. Yeah, don't really. Um, I'm trying to find a print run on. Don't really show that. I'd have to go back to the website anyway, man. But yeah, pretty dope. Yeah, see, I bagged and boarded all those boards. I still got a knife, so these are already bagged and boarded. I was expecting it to be a lot worse, you know, but yeah. Oh, yeah. And all, like I said earlier, I got my second copy of um, Star Wars Legacy. It's the first cover appearance of Darth Talon, I believe. Should be, yeah. I love it. I'd love to get that issue number nine, though, that first, uh, but no, that's Old, right, Old Republic, Old Republic number nine, that, that first uh, Darth Revan, it's just almost like five, six hundred dollars right now. I'm trying to get a set of wheels, man. Yeah, I dropped my family uh, because of that, Chris. What's that? Fuck them. And I all uh, I was always there for them. Those are fires. Sometimes you have to let them go. Dark Talon needs to appear in the Bad Batch at some point. Oh my God! Right. Well, uh, I'd love to see a sexy live action version of her, but yeah, I take it either way. That would be cool though. All right. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But I don't know, man. 
And my, my little girl's still 16, bro, so she'll figure it out, man, I guess. So, yeah, I got the wheel here. Let me break, pull it up. I already got you guys' names on there real quick. We'll do this, get this over with so you guys can go about your business. Um, shuffle it. All right. Uh, quick one, so we'll, we'll do eliminate real quick. Give everybody at least a fighting chance. All right, here you go, guys. Good luck. Do a one time thing, man. I'll go in there. Yo. Good luck, everybody. Now, I'm going to send it this week, Pinky. Pink. I was hoping to do a, uh, another giveaway because do you want something else? I just stick them all in there at the same time. Yeah, I got a couple books to send out this week to everybody at once. Oh no. <laughs> Fab, uh, Agu comes in and he's out. Hey, dude, just pop his name on there as soon as I spun the wheel. Oh, I well, you know what poker is, but. fast food <laughs> oh god tank out fatality oh bummer bro all right Shift again, shift again, shift again, shift again. Here we go. I like that song so much. We're going to do it again.
hot again today. Ooh, 110. Oh, man. Yo, it, 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 was, it was cool today. It was like rainy all day, so it wasn't as hot as it normally is. <laughs> Damn, <it's funny. laughs> Hashtag rig, dude. Yo, tell you what, I'm getting some shirts made with that. Hashtag rig on it. Don't bite my idea. Warpath, dude. Oh, I'm on, man. We're going to get something. Jeez. All right, here we go. Shake it up. Uh. No, I'm about to say, dude, you're gonna win. Come around. I take Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme. You know <laughs> uh, hey, Craig, he's not here. Weird out, yeah, weird out, dude. Weird out, Yankovic. It's crazy how much I used to listen to that dude's music, man. How he'd always. Take a song and flip it. Grooving. Yeah, that's the one we played earlier. All right, guys. Three guys left. z Collect, CFAP, and Craig69, who ain't here, but he is. Or he ain't. Or he is. Fake laugh and I laugh is fake. You're talking about me. See, Collects is going to win. This is a slow one right here. Yeah. Crazy. I shit you not, guys. When you read when you get this book and you win it, you better read it. You better hear some kind of slight fucking review and what you thought about it. I want to know that you read it. If you don't. We'll feel some kind of way. All right. Uh, I don't know. Reggae music. All right. Fire it up, guys. Smoke them if you got them. Put five on it. Let's go. Good luck. Definitely going to land on Craig. I am 150% positive of that. I'm going to go ahead and get the net. Go ahead and get your book. I'm so confident it's landing on Craig. Yeah, go ahead and write Craig's name down. That's how confident I am. C R I A G. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, dang, bro, I know that will. I know that will, like it was my ex-girlfriend. Fucking whore. Uh, yeah. Big win. Yeah, there. So, yeah, uh... So yeah, here's all the books I got to send out this week. Uh, we got Craig here. I got TK right here. Why does that feel so thick? Um, one two comic talk right here. Uh, Pinky right here. Joey bags right here. Three right here to Joey bags, and then um, Chad Chad Fisher Fish Cat his uh. Uh, Venom 29, Kale Nung, Connect, I mean, covers. That's it, guys. Now, honestly, man, I feel like I won't be able to do too many more uh, giveaways for a while, bro, to be honest with you, man. I got this, this uh, financial shit, bro. It's a pain in the ass. But, yeah, man, uh, good luck you guys at one. I appreciate everybody stopping by. And Craig, I will need your address. I don't think I got Craig's address. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I don't got your. If you haven't won before, I keep everybody's addresses when they win. Um, Biggie, Stimmers, Ian, Pinky, Mad Mike, Heavy Metal, Peanut Butter, Dan Piercy, Marlon, uh, A. Ramos. I'm assuming that's uh, our group, yeah. Uh, Connie. Emmanuel Vasquez, who is that? I don't know who that is. I didn't, I didn't write their, their their YouTube channel name above that. Kenneth Bird, Smiley Tory, CFAP, Miracle McCoy, Antonio Williams. I'm not sure who that is either. Uh, Chad Fisher, I got Chad Fisher. Biggie, I got Biggie's name twice. Z Clex, first edition. Patrick Wall, Laura. I don't know who Laura is neither. Um, Ben Comp, Ben Shortbox, Padawan, Flash by Night, Superior Hero, uh, Will, that's Sean, uh, Little Hero and the Kid, TK Bat Cave, uh, Wolf Warner, Two Gun Pedro, Slim's Comics, The Comic Don. This is shout outs, too, while, while, while we're at it. <laughs> Lisa Noble, John's Comics with Kids, One Two Comic Talk, God Tank, uh, Captain Comics, Joey Bags. Comic Fever and Shine and Will, which is the same. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, so I don't got Craig. I don't got your uh, address. Yep, I got like the name on it twice. Springs. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just get it to me on the inbox. Uh, I think you're on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, man, go ahead and uh, uh, send it to me on the IG, and I'll get it out to you. LX, lots of books. You're crazy, Chris, dude. I'm, I'm done, man. I'm done. Though I will, though I will miss it. Uh, CIA parts unknown six times. <laughs> we'll keep it on the hush hush. Y'all didn't want to make any side bets with that, huh? <laughs> no, right? I know, man. We need to get some dice, man. Get some dice games, bro. I got to, I got to, I can't, I can't gamble, dude. Damn near broke. Uh, let's see. Uh, Craig, do a review, yo. Yeah, I know, right? And I wasn't even here. He's like, he cares about you. He's still one. Mysteriously, the gods, man, the gods preordained this moment. Way to go, Craig. It was a lot of hard work. Um, scum will. <laughs> scum <egg. laughs> Hashtag rig shirts coming some, sometime soon, guys. So whenever, when, I tell you what, matter of fact, whenever I find a place that can actually create like some decent shirts, you know, like I'm really, I'm really funny about. I don't, I'm really funny about shirts that I wear. I like, like this shirt here is kind of uncomfortable to wear, and if you stick it in the dryer, it's going to shrink up in like one wash. So, I don't like shirts like this. But that scumbag shirt I got from y'all guys, 
That I like the quality of that. That was a really good quality shirt. So yeah, hashtag rig shirts. They're coming. <laughs> One day. Uh oh, where we go? Sorry. Did I just cut somebody? Alright. Man, did any of y'all uh, know Comic Exposure was a scam site? Nah, dude. I didn't. Even, uh. What's up, brother? Morning? God darn. It's morning where you're at? It's, yes. Oh, man. Yeah, across the world, man. Across the pond. Yeah. Take a break. You gain love for what you really like in your collection. Trade, upgrade for the keys and fillers. That's how I'm about 60 issues away from a complete set of X-Men. Damn right, bro. Wow. Yeah, man. Trade, trade, sell, and buy other books that, you know, you pretty much would rather, you would rather have than, you know, yeah. Because there's some books I got that I love I could live without if I could get this, you know, like my my LCS has a Clone Wars number one. I didn't even look at it the other day when I was at the shop. I ordered a nice house on the lake number one and the variant for twenty twenty five dollars. Later on, found out it was a scam site. Oh yeah, comics exposure. Let me see. Oh my god, she walked like a man. All right, anyway, comics exposure. Or comic exposure. Uh, is that it? Damn, these cameras suck, man. Logitech, Logi, whatever, you got sorry camera. Whatever, man. Is that, is that it? I wish I had an LCS and I would get the one in 25, the me you love in the dark. I seen that issue on the shelf. I mean, the first issue on the shelf, but I didn't grab it, man. This is like this is the, this is the stuff I'm gonna have to learn to live with. While you all you guys are talking about this amazing story you read, uh, what's love? God tank, big shout out to God tank, man. Much prayers. I hope your mom gets better. I mean, seriously, hope she uh comics exposure reviews. Comic exposure contrast is off. Yeah, well, you can't you can't adjust none of that stuff on the on the website. Set advanced options. I can set the camera resolution. Not big. Anyways, um. Couldn't read you on the phone. I think that's it. It was kind of hard to see. Yeah, I know. Uh, comics exposure. This got to be it right here. All right, reviews. That's it, right? Oh, shit. That's it, right? Got you a package in the mail, Chris. Where's the uh, where's the reviews at? You find the reviews at? It's not on the page. Yeah, I don't know. Um, wherever they have reviews at. Oh, let me see. Maybe just Google reviews. All right, here you go. 
Oh, Better Business Bureau. Wait. Read customer service reviews of ComicExposure.com. Trust Pilot. All right. Yeah, that's it. Tools. Fuck them. Um, they don't. Oh, my God, dude. They don't got no excellent. This is all bad. Like, the review that says on it. Overview. Uh, bought something that's killing the children 125 in January and had been calling, emailing, and even trying to look up employees to get my book, but no response in six months. Uh, this is, okay, the worst comic shop ever. It's very frustrating. I also have unfulfilled separate orders that yet to be delivered. I have one order date May 2012 two orders in June. I have tried several emails, phone calls, but no answer. What is the deal? How can they continue to sell comics and not deliver? I am very angry. Please, everyone, please don't be scammed by them. I plan to take this to social media and local news. Dude, he ain't fucking around. And this was this was post in July 6, 2021. And he's like, he placed the orders in 2012? God damn. Yo, do not buy this. Yeah, we not need to. Yeah, this is definitely do not buy anything from these guys. I mean, it's like not a, not a single positive review. Oh, dude, this guy wrote a book. He he re- turned them over to the Better Business Bureau. Never had a problem with them. Knock on wood. Shit. Maybe 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 these reviews are false. I, mean, I don't know, but no reply. Whoever the owner is of comic exposure, he or she are corrupt cowards. Ordered books almost 90 days ago. They've been released. Still nothing. They don't answer email or phone calls. Buyer beware. Comic exposure. Time to shut the door. You know what? I kind of feel like I've ordered something from them. Let me go to my shop uh, shop thing and search. All right. Let me look at it real quick. Comic exposure. Comic traders. No. Nah, maybe I didn't order anything from them. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Crazy. Yeah, Craig said he never had a problem with him. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, brother. I tell you what. When I used to order comic books... Uh, what I look for, for one, you know, like anybody else, price, um, and and if they're they're like like if they're in the United States, it'd be better. Um, usually, when you order stuff from the West Coast, I think like sh- tends to be a little bit more. I don't know if it's because of sales tax over there or what, but um, and then also like if if after you spend a hundred dollars, they do free shipping. You know, like un. Unknown comic books, they do free shipping after $100 spent. They're pretty good about packaging. You know, I've never got anything totally messed up from them. But there's some books, unknown comic books, don't, um, they don't sell. Like, I think it's like um, quite a bit of stuff they don't sell. And then also, like, Mutant Beaver Comics, I've ordered um, a set of uh, Baby Teeth number 17. Uh, Zoe, God, what is her last name? L A U U something other. And I still haven't um received my books. I ordered them in April, and I still haven't received my books. I've emailed them a couple of times, and um, yeah, here it goes. View order. Where's my damn order at, bro? All right, fuck, I'll show it to you. Let me see here. Um, and yeah, I still haven't received uh, my books, which is really kind of a bummer. All right, here we go. I'll show you the book I was talking about. Um, let's see. Baby teeth. 
And I, I, I ordered two copies of this. Uh, Baby T, Zoe, Lachey, 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 however you say her name. It's like 400, 450 print run on each issue. Pretty low. Uh, sick cover, you know. I mean, who knows Baby T's going to do anything big later on down the road or not. God only knows. But, yeah, I ordered them back in April, and um, it says they were, yeah, May the 30th, twenty. 2021 this is now august and i still have not received my books and it's not even showing up on the shop app if i if you order stuff if you order stuff uh online like the shop app is pretty uh pretty much it kind of it keeps up with all your orders you know what i'm saying like when you order some it automatically comes up and it keeps up with the tracking on all your orders and um it's not even showing my book like where the book hasn't been delivered, it has it's not even showing up on the the history at this point. So I don't know what in the hell is going on with that book. I mean, I ordered two copies, and like I said, I ordered them back in May, I mean April, and it is now August the fourth, and I still haven't received my book. So I don't know, dude. I, I plus they're in Canada, so the shipping was crazy high. You know, the order from North Carolina from Canada. Yeah, the shipping is going to be high. So a place like that, I'm definitely not even wanting to do business, you know, because even if I find a book on a deal with the shipping and fee and everything like that, by the time I get it, man, I'm probably better off buying it off eBay, you know. So that's kind of a place I try not to look for in an online comic shop. Um, but, yeah, there was some comic shops I would love to have found where, they, you know, you can find a lot of uh, good deals on the in incentives. You know, I can get them at my LCS sometimes, man, but I never know what the price is going to be uh, like everybody else until it's, it's like listed at other places. Because my LCS website don't show the price of the incentives. It just shows the cover price of a $399 book or a $499 book. It don't show what the incentive price would be. And you'll figure at 1 in 25, you know, who knows what that's going to be depending on the book. Like something's killing the children, 1 in 25, 40, 50, 60, who knows. Uh, do they have a physical address location? Um, what's that? Uh, okay, let's see. thanks for the info, Superior. Uh, having a, on our backs, even though I never ordered comic book, yeah, 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 I'm right. Gotta look out for people, man. People never, never know. Craig said he never had a problem with him, so I don't know. But, damn, Craig, I only bought from them uh, and never received it. Once in a nice house by the lake, but never received it. They didn't respond to my emails or calls. And I tell you what, shit like that, bro. It's like, if I got your address, I'm coming to your place. You either got my money or you got my product. You don't got neither one. You about to catch these hands, man. I'm skinny. Yeah, you know what? You know, Craig uh, is him some CCIA on the computer. They sound like scumbags. Yep. Order a few Campbell exclusives. Wow. Well, I don't know. Do they have a physical location? It's only $25, but shit, that's half a tank. Of goddamn right, dude. I don't give a damn if it's $2.60. That's, that's your money. You know what I mean? Always proud of the history that flows in your veins. Yes, sir, brother. Damn yeah, right. I know I'm excited, man. I haven't been to, I haven't been to speaking of the history. I haven't been to a powwow. God, now it's probably it's like two years. They just had the Lumbee powwow here in uh, Pembroke, North Carolina. I didn't get to go to that one, but they, the one in Fayetteville comes somewhere around October. I can't wait to go, man. Cannot wait to go. I mean, going to powwows ever since I was eight years old, man. Seven or eight. That's as far back as I can remember. Uh, they do climb. They, they done climb Pinky, but someone in the review said they went there and there wasn't a building there. Oh, shit. When I order stuff and it comes to my New Hampshire address, I don't have to pay sales tax. 
Wow. That's what's up. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Depends on your state and where the store you buy it from with the sales tax stuff. Yeah, each state has different rules. 100%. Chris, what is a powwow? What is a powwow? What's up, uh, Biggie, 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 Biggie Shack? What does a powwow do? Oh, my God. A powwow is like... Let me show you what a powwow is, brother. You had to ask the question. I got the Lumbee powwow. I mean, let's see. Lumbi Powwow. Oh, they got the 2020, 2021 footage. Yeah, I seen the video, but I didn't get to go. Um, it's the homecoming highlights. Yeah, yeah, it's Powwow. Yeah, they get down, man. The tribe that my cousin is a part of. Oh, it, it came on, Biggie. I gotta see it, dude. said man like if you never you never been to a native american powwow you ain't like gotta be native american but it's like you gotta at least put that on your bucket list if you've never been to one in your entire life this is is very very uh i always remember as a kid all those the 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 very the colors you know what i'm saying i remember the colors and oh the, the food and then when you got older it was like the women the girls <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was fun, man, when I was a kid. And they used to have the the Aztecs. I think the Aztecs used to come out there to the one in um, Fayetteville, and they would do this fire dance. It's crazy, bro. And I ended up getting one of the the peacock feathers off one of the dancers, and I kept it for I can't remember how long. Yeah, man. Yeah. I think the last, uh, last Lumbee powwow I went to was in Pembroke, which is where we just saw that, Pembroke, North Carolina. That was, I want to say it was two years ago. Um, but the la it was so hot outside. I could tell it was a hot day that day when they had that one. They have that fried bread, bro. Uh, the collard greens. They got like, these collard green sandwiches and stuff they make there at the Lumbee powwow. Woo! Things are good, bro. Yeah, man. Locks went off, dude. I gotta see it. I gotta see it. I gotta see. It. I, I I heard there's a chant, uh, um, an app or something you can watch it on. I don't know where they, I didn't know where he was playing it at. I don't have like local TV. Everything here, everything at my house is all uh, internet related stuff. I watch. That it was kiss night for sure, dude. Yeah, I was all dude. I was a big locks fan coming up. 
Probably more so than Dipset. Yeah, dude. I remember when my cousin, my cousin, my cousin won the the Lumbee powwow when he was my cousin that died, the one that got killed in front of me. Uh, I know he. I remember him winning first place once. Um, possibly he won more than that. His his brother. I think he still got his regalia at, at, at the house. Charles. I want to say Charles does, though. A lot of my stuff in my, my brain is just undeveloped at this point. But then the Lumbee Pow Wow in Baltimore was insane, dude. I was like, shoot. There is, there is a lot of Lumbee uh, natives up there in Baltimore. I didn't know it. And it was like almost every other day I was I was running into somebody who was from uh, Robinson County, you know, Lumberton, uh, North Carolina. I was like, Jesus, bro. I was like, fuck, did they all move up here? I mean, Chavises. You know, shot, my homeboy shot Chavis lived up there. My grandma was a Chavis, so uh, I'm like, wow. Yo, Art Chemist, what is up? How are you? Everyone doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. Zatunes, how's it going, man? How's France looking? I remember the two you come on when I was playing uh, Jedi uh, Fallen Order. Locks versus Dipset. Yeah, 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 man. They've been, they been kind of picking fun at each other lately on, uh, you know, because I know it's all fun. I'm probably pretty sure there ain't no, like, serious uh, uh, beef going on. But, yeah, they were kind of throwing shots at each other. Like, I think, was it, uh, is it Jim Jones on his, uh, it's probably on his, um, Instagram page. Jim Jones Capo. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. They had the locks. The 20 piece locks McNuggets with the Jada sauce. <laughs> I was like, they was throwing like little shots at each other. I was like, yeah, this is probably going to be a good. I, that one with Bow Wow and uh, Soldier Boy, bro. I watched that one, man. Bow Wow put on a good show. He actually acted like he was at a concert. Uh, Soldier Boy act like he was performing at an open mic night. You know what I mean? Big, big difference. And and you know, the older dude schooling the younger guy how you how you should do the, how you should really do it. Soldier Boy is always too big. I want to be the first at doing everything. Ah, uh, man. Our chemist, no. Our chemist, no. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta learn some French one day. Pause. <laughs> it's like you got the L style P versus Jim is going to, oh, is going to watch it. Where, where, where is the, um, where is the, the, bleh. hold on a second. Let me see if I can pull up my, uh, I got, hold on a second, guys. I'm trying not to keep you. I know you guys got a lot better stuff to do. Uh, Native Heroes and Comics. Is it possible I have that video done on Native Heroes and Comics? I got to put out some more videos for Native Heroes and Comics. I ain't, I ain't put out no new ones to get late yet. You know, a lot, a lot, some of the characters I didn't even know about because, you know, I have been collecting comics my entire life. Um, pretty sure my look. I wish I'd love to shoot these in a little bit better than what they were shot before. They look real grainy looking. Got almost eleven 1 hundred views on that one. Not a lot, but uh. All right, let me see if I can find it real quick, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Carolina Chris. At, see if we got a video of me at the powwow. 
Umbi Powwow. Let's see. Oh my God, dude. That is uh I went to high school with her. She was uh she was like the finest thing. Oh, what was her name? Uh can we head to Lumberton, North Carolina to attend your annual dance of the spring moon powwow. Anyways, this chick here was like I'm Aaron James, James Draplin, I'm 40. God damn it, I hate these commercials. Um sorry. Seven years old. Let me see. Yeah, she went to high school with me, man. The girl on the left. And uh, I think her husband or boyfriend's white. I think she, because I knew she was into white guys when he was in school. Um, Which is crazy. It shouldn't be a big problem because I'm half white. You know what I mean? But, yo. I'm Mikaela Malazzi, and this is Bare Feet. Yeah, that's not really what I wanted. Ah, oh, yeah, I just had a. There we go. There we go. I know I had a video of me at a powwow. <laughs> they didn't want to be on camera as one chick. Carolina Chris, my head just made my man. Carolina Chris, my head just made my man get powwow. Rapping on people, saying nine feet six, love me in the building, stand up. <laughs> I always wanted to get my daughter into that, man. You know, take her because they the classes. They teach the, at the, the Kahari tribe that I'm a part of. They teach the classes, man, for kids, and I would love to get my daughter involved in it, but that would require me having, you know, a pretty much better relationship with my daughter than I have with her now, you know, being able to see her a lot more. In France, we would call you the weasel. I don't know how to, I don't know how I feel about that as a term. I was like, I don't know, are you trying to throw shots at me? <laughs> What's going on here? Is this a beat? Oh, I'm joking. The weasel. Weasel. Would it be weasel or weasel? Weasel. Look at the little man in the front, though. He's cute. The sound quality sucks. Oh, with my beard. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was crazy, man. My mom used to hate that thing. Sorry, I got to talk slow. I know Zatu said, uh, English. Yeah, my mom used to really hate that, uh, goatee of mine. He's a French rapper. I can't pronounce that. France, I class as my second home and my aunt. Look at man. Man. Yo, you as a tune might know he check little man out. I like little man. Hey, man <laughs> Ripping it right here, my man ripping. Yeah, dude, he was going hard right there, dude. Uh, yeah, look at him, dude. He's going hard. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you ever get a chance to go to a Native American powwow, just Google powwows in your area where you may live at. You know, you may have to drive a little distance to get to one. 
uh, usually around here is October and April. We got the spring and um, another one comes in April. I mean, I'm sorry, April and October. So it's the two we have here. And then um, the one in uh, Clinton. I don't, crazy thing is I never been, I, don't, I haven't been to one of those. And I've always been in a Columbia powwows. Yeah, but hey, guys, uh, that is it, guys. Zatoon, dude, I appreciate you coming through. What is the time frame over there with you? I know uh, you said it's it's like five-something where you're at. So he's in Paris. It's, you know, you said he was at like five or something where you're at, right? Five or something a.m. in the morning or afternoon, maybe, in the morning? Yeah, in the morning. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is. It's probably... Clock is wrong. It's twelve forty six here, so yeah. Anyways, guys, dude, I appreciate y'all coming through. Um, let's say, bro, it might be. I've got two more haul videos left, and a um, few like sporadic books that may come in. So, here in Brooklyn, Pow Wow is at Aviator Recreation Center. Hell yeah, dude! Like crazy, man. Pow Wow in New York. My aunt, um, who's uh, on my dad's side, which is the native side, she lived. She moved. She she was living in Brooklyn. Like she lived in Brooklyn. Like God, a better part of her life. I know she was lived. They got a house in New Jersey or something now. At least that last time uh, I seen her at my uncle's uh, funeral or wake or whatever, not long ago. I forgot to ask her where she was living at, but I know this. She was living in Brooklyn uh, for a hot minute. 5.46 a.m., so 6.46 in France. Wow. Early. You guys are just getting up. You drink coffee? Coffee drinkers? 6.47. Exact. Man. Yeah, it is 12.47 here. Man. 12.47 at night. So we're going right into the a.m. A couple hours behind you guys. I know, like in Australia, it's um, it's twelve forty-seven in the afternoon there. But that part I do know. And why native? What tribes are in New York? What native tribes are in New York? Oh, shit, a couple. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, mm. Ooh, I dated a Tuscaroran girl one time. She, she was crazy. Definitely crazy. I know it's I know it's wild as um like when you bump into I don't, I don't, I don't want to say it no kind of race I mean you know, I'm not racist by any means at all you know it's just not in me but like you run into white people right here and they'd be like uh yeah I'm Indian what kind of native you usually like Cherokee <laughs> why is it all why is it always Cherokee like why are they always Cherokee. Then have a cup of tea. Amen to that. Amen to that. I'm a call. Uh, I'm on coffee this morning because I couldn't sleep well. Then have a cup of tea. I drink coffee once in a while, but it usually messes up my stomach. So I'm pretty sure that's that's you know if you want to clear yourself out, it's definitely a thing to drink. But I like to have if I drink coffee, I gotta have like cream and sugar, milk and sugar in mine. And I used to go kind of hard on the sugar. Um 
Yeah, but I drink, you know, we drink tea kind of regularly here, around here. Iced tea, you know. And I've noticed, like, I've seen some videos where people put, like, milk in their tea. Like a hot cup of tea with milk in it. I'm like, well, how, how does that, um, how does that taste? I don't wonder how that tastes, milk and tea. I might have to try that one day. Chris Easy on the Cherokee. <laughs> yeah, man. Nah, I, 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 you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, dude. That's one thing about me, man. I can tell you what. Even if you, even if. <laughs> it's just that. That's what I've noticed. Like, if I had to, like. Add up all the times I've ever heard like a person say they was they had native blood in them. It was, it was like always Cherokee or Blackfoot, like Cherokee or Blackfoot. I'm like, okay. Like I had a homeboy of mine. He was like African American and an Apache. It was wild, dude. And like I said, I dated a Tuscarawan girl one time. She was crazy. But around here, it's mainly just the Lumbees. Lumbees, Lumbees are hella deep, North Carolina. Lumbee tribe. They're deep. Big, very big. 400 new combo day. Fuck! Yeah. Perry's like, I'm back. Just watch video dome. What is that? Here I am again. I have a lot of difficulty understanding speaking English. Really sorry for it. Now, no doubt, no doubt. I, f I figured I should be talking slow. I speak English, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people don't even understand what I'm saying. So, I have mine with a lots of milk in my coffee, but not the strong stuff, and always milk and tea. Yeah, I wonder what I want. Kind of wonder what 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 tea and coffee, tea and milk tastes like. I, I had to try it one day, bro. I might have to try. I might have to try me some tea with some milk in it one day. Hot tea with milk. I might. I might give it a shot. A lot in Lumberton, yo. A lot, a lot of Lumbees in uh, Lumberton. A lot of Lumbees. All right, there we go. Yeah, I got me a new controller I ordered in for my, my PS4 the other day. I'm going to wait for that shit to come in, man, because my headset ain't been working with the one I got. I might need to order me a new headset as well. Yeah, but I don't know. I might uh, I might end up getting that battle that battle uh, Battlefield game. Battlefield, Battlefront. Battlefield, Battlefield. Yeah, I played Battlefield 1 when it came out. I was all into that, bro. I love that game. Um, but I haven't played it in a while. I haven't played none of the other versions of it since the first one. But I've been hearing a lot of stuff on this new one. Milk and tea taste great. Just add sugar. Gotta have sugar, dude. I gotta have sugar. Did, did they have a battle, uh, Battlefield trailer for the game? Let's see. Battle... The Battlefield 2042, is that the name of the game? Uh, new teaser trailer. Why are you here? I'm looking for a woman. For months you've been hitting this tank, reliving every damn memory you had with her. When you find season three leaders, it's worth it. I'm going to set you free. Hugh Jackman, we're in the sense. Ready to be Battlefield 2042 news is heating up and yesterday we got a new little teaser video and some information about the game. So I thought that I'd jump on BF4 today and play some Gunmaster to celebrate the fact. And basically what it was, there was a little video posted on Twitter. I'll play it now, if you haven't seen it, just so you can see what it is. The world wants to forget we exist. We will force them to see. A 
Essentially, on August the 12th, there's going to be a nine-minute cinematic video about BF2042. That was my kill, dude. And it's going to cover the story of the game. Is this the game that the game. comes out, or is this the game that's already And apparently it will set up the war that's going on in 2042. A bit of lore, a bit of story. Nine minutes long, and it looks like it's proper CGI high-budget stuff. It's going to be really interesting to see what they do there, because, yeah, there's no single player in the game. All the narrative is going to be in the multiplayer and the live service. That guy just ruined me there with that dive hole. I mean, you didn't really get much from the video, but you see some cool-looking ospreys flying into a storm. There's a big ship, which is probably the USS Raven Rock, which has been mentioned before when they've done teasing for the game. It must be an important part of the story, that. There's a guy right here. I don't want to watch this guy play while. the game. It, yeah. So is this supposed to, I thought it was supposed to be a new... Uh, this is it. Let's see when this thing was posted. This was posted. Oh yeah, October twenty second. This is it right here. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Yeah, that's why I used to love is because you could get in the helicopters and the airplanes and fly them around. Some some others are from uh overseas. Oh damn Nazis! What you doing? With <laughs> they got they got the the paddles to bring you back. <laughs> <laughs> Those versus a knife. That's wild. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. I, I might get it. You got to see, man. <laughs> he said they must be alcoholic by four. <laughs> yeah, you would think, huh? Shit, here in the United States, man, they, they throw some, uh, what is it, that liquid cough medicine. I forget what it uh liquid cough medicine. Which one is it? Robitussin or whatever. They give the kids that shit. I, I, the girls, man. I used to hear about girls used to do that, man. Put their kids to sleep so they could go to the club. You know, give their give their kids a little bit of. You know, and the kid passes out. They go to the club party. Chris, get Pokemon fame. 
Yeah, I don't know if I can do Pokemon, man. I think that's just a side of the the, the culture I'm just not ever going to be into. Or who knows? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah. Whiskey and vodka. Maybe it's time for the bottle of whiskey with vodka. <laughs> oh, castor oil. Yeah. Castor oil, dude. Yo, that clear shit. I used to hate the clear, like, call, uh, uh, medicine that the moms would give you as a kid. I used to always throw up off that shit. I, to this, still to this day, I can't like drink cough medicine. PS6 should be out by uh, the time they restock the PS5. I know, bro. Like I, I feel like at this point, a PS5 is like seeing a unicorn or a leprechaun. Or that 35 foot great white shark. It's like a myth. You know what I mean? Like I've heard about it, but I've never actually seen one. Oh yeah, no problem, brother. No doubt. What is that? Uh, let's see that picture. Is that the actor who played Spider-Man? Dude, uh, no. Yeah. I'm trying to see if you profile picture there. It's, uh, all right, yeah. Make sure I got all this stuff off my thing. My son got a PS5 for 200 in the hood. When it came out. <laughs> oh, that ain't lying. I wonder, did it work? I did not know this thing. Mason Booth. Oh, your son. That's crazy, dude. You tell him the hook, the hook is up. Oh, boy, is the kid medicine here, but some parents here just give it to kids to make them sleep even when they aren't ill. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They do that here in the United States. They'll give it to their kids so they can put them to sleep so they can go to the club. I believe one girl did that. Her kid ended up dying because she gave him too much or something like that. To be sure you can find a story where that's happened. PS5 never been open. Damn, brand new, still in the box. Oh yeah, that was hot. <laughs> yeah, just got that from a crackhead. Crackhead, crackhead. Know oh, you guys. Everybody got to know a crackhead. <laughs> uh, I ain't lying, dude. My neighborhood, you see them going up down the street with washer and dryers, refrigerators, TVs, all that shit. Come to you, try to sell it to you. Pistols, everything. Anyway, guys, I have sit up here and rambled for a minute. I think we've done, went through the comic hall, the giveaway, and the powwow stuff, like all over the place. But yeah, I'm going to be out, guys. Like I say, I got, I got maybe two more weeks worth of comic books. And I'm pretty sure my cousin have, hasn't even noticed that I've completely wiped out all my books. Because he hasn't said anything to me yet. But yeah, In all honesty, man, what I really had to cut back is like... Wait, what did you say? He got it at late night from a head. Yo, wow. I missed those, bro. I miss that shit, man. I used to have a couple of heads back in the day. I could call and get me anything. You know what I'm saying? 
And if they couldn't get it, you give them a list, and whenever they got it, they would call you up. Big screen TVs, video games. Yeah, man. That was a long time ago, though. It was a good, good, good guys to have around when you need something. You know what I mean? Hmm. Anyways, but yeah, uh, like I say, I got like um, March back. That locks versus dipset on YouTube. Just type in. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Let me see. Locks. Okay, here we go. I found it. Oh, okay, that's it. It's like a whole two hour and 32 minute lock first dip set highlight, highlights. Funny moments, Jadakiss bodies, the whole verse. I know Jadakiss, bro, kisses. Kiss, oh, it's live right now. I know they're talking about it. Hold on a second. Step into a dark saga of sorcery and shadow. What's going on, fam? You sound far away. What's going on? Uh, yeah, you sound far away. Now, a little better, but let's get it. Let's get it, bro. Yo, listen, man. I expected nothing more than what I've heard or mm. seen tonight, man. Mm. First, first of all, but off rip, you see how she came out? Oh, oh, no, 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 Yo, Styles had this, yo, Damn. yo, Donnie chill, B. It's a lyrical war. Yeah. Donnie was turned up. Like, yeah. Like, yo, and the energy right there, off rip, like, I expect it. Like, I know the catalog. Wow. They got is crazy. They too many dudes. They too many crew boys scared in front of uh -huh. But, wow, they just smashed their soul in front of America like that. Like, that's crazy. In front of the world. Let's see here. Let's check this clip out real quick. I'm not a role model, so I'll be riding through it. Yeah, you two gonna block me for this right here. It's like a waste. Anyway, I don't even I don't even wanna play with this, man. I'm end up getting kicked off and I just showed off this entire hall of books. You know, for the people who like to see what people picked up. Man, they ain't they gonna cut that off and I ain't gonna get to see what I picked up. Yeah, I feel you, Mark. Mark, that's what's the bro, that's kind of what I mean, we're pretty late. We're pretty late in the live stream right now. Probably not a lot of people here. Probably don't nobody gonna watch. Nobody's gonna watch this last part of this video anyway. But yeah, dudes, like I have pretty much how at this point in life, like I'm paying. I'm buying. I'm buying my comic books. I'm paying bills. I'm getting extras. I'm doing whatever it is that needs to be done with money. Off stuff that I, you know, books that I sell, you know, stuff I sell online, and a little, you know, it's not all like thousand, three, four thousand dollars sales on eBay every day, you know. Um, so that's you know, and it was months, you know, it was months when it was really, really good, and uh, so, so, yeah, it's like I gotta have a vehicle, man. Like where I live at, I'm like where I live at, I'm. 20 maybe 15 minutes or so from a store there's like three or four stores out here but from like any real civilization i'm like 30 45 minutes from any like real real civilization movie theaters malls all that shit could be 30 40 40 45 minutes an hour out so i you wait where well, you got i gotta have one man and it's the fact that i haven't really been able to spend time with my daughter Cause yeah, I could get somebody to, to, you know, like my cousin, he'll run me up to the store or to the comic shop or wherever. You know, I get, I get where I gotta get, but it's like I always gotta depend on somebody. And it's like I don't like to depend on nobody. I don't like to ask, ask nobody for favors. I don't want to borrow shit. I don't want nothing from you if I can't get it myself. And it's like really, really to ask somebody for for something when you need it is like I don't like I don't, I don't like to be indebted and you know, I don't want no favors from nobody, bro. If I got if I got to. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's get you gotta you gotta be able to move on your own, own two feet, man. I gotta be able to move on my own two feet. I can't be dependent on nobody. I don't want to be dependent on nobody at all. And I mean, for hey, for anybody that's got a very very great paying job and you're doing good, hey, I'm happy for you. You know, like I was at that point. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And like I say, I'm thankful we're late in this live stream. Who, you know, pretty sure anybody only going through watching it, but I can say for without a doubt. No, I'm not gonna say that. Never mind. So yeah, I have. This is yeah. Time times in life have been a lot better, but you know, and I mean, life ain't that bad right now because I got a roof over my head, got food in my refrigerator, got clothes on my back. You know, I'm doing better than most people. But I got to, I got to get, I got to get one, man. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just talking about this, this, the first cheap piece of shit that I run across. Nah, dude. I mean, the last whip, I mean, the last whip I had, I, I paid, I had a few grand in it, and it lasted a year, and that was a used one. And my credit, like my credit, is so bad, I couldn't finance a pencil if I wanted to. Like my credit is screwed up. And I think that's all from hospital, like hospital bills that I had in the past. Um, but yeah, dude, it's, it's all messed up, man. I only have TMNT and Strange Academy on my pool list. And anything Scotty Young, I read the rest online. Yeah. Yeah, I know, bro. I know, I know, I know. I know I'm like a cover hoarder, bro. You know, like sick covers, first appearance of key characters in here, you know. Boom, you thinking, hey, that book probably going to be worth a shitload in the future. Yeah. I don't know. When things get rough, you always come out stronger. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Always. A doubt, bro. He's a cam, you live in Miami. <laughs> oh my god. No, y'all don't got enough fucking records, man. Oh, look, okay, man. Tech, don't even talk to these niggas. Let's get New York where they need to be. Tech, listen, one time. Oh, 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 This is hip hop. We in the Mecca of New York. 
It's deep love. Talk it's deep set. Right. Turn the Boy, words. We don't know the words. Yo, Tech, let's make something happen. Uh yeah, I don't want to get that. I get clipped quick for YouTube. Yeah, dude. I gotta sit down and watch this, man. I want to see that, though. Cause bro, dips. I mean, nah, dipset, dipset, dipset. Dip, I like. I fucked with dipset, but the locks, man. Kiss, kiss. Andre three thousand. Eminem, them are some of my favorite. Uh, Rakim, uh, uh, Eric B. Damn, I got something in my head, dude. Yeah, bro. I got to sit down and watch that. Mark, just get two, get two cars. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, hey, I tell you what. Me personally, I've never owned a brand new car off the lot. Now, I've had cars. Like, I've had cars with brand new car lot money in them. Like, I had, when I had my Millennium, I had my Millennium, that car, I bought it, I don't know, it was like 27, 27,000 or something like that, and I, I end up dumping like, you know, I've dumped like TVs all in it, 20 inch rims, body kit, PlayStation in the trunk, banging sound system in it, custom interior, I mean, you know, the fucking uh, candy paint job on the out, the candy paint job is, fucking Google it, it's high. Candy paint on the outside of your car. Yeah, y'all probably don't know nothing about no candy paint. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> you some of you might. But yeah, dude. Um, like I had like forty five thousand dollars in that car, and that car wouldn't even, you know, then, then I had the fucking Chevelles or twenty thousand dollars in that car. Yeah, I had both of the cars in that, and I had this little other joint that I bought like I mean that was out this was all at one time, bro. That was at the time when money was good, man. It was at a time, bro. It was so good. Like twenty thousand dollars when shit. Anyways, yeah. Rocky him the best. I like uh Black Thought. Yo, yeah, man. I remember listening to uh uh God, I was, was an old old group I was talking thinking about the other day. Poor Righteous Teachers. Oh, that was crazy shit. Nah, we only need one. And we are very lucky in the UK with the NHS. Oh yeah, what is it? We don't get any American car except Jeeps. Wow, dude. Too far to bring them over and every car would need to be converted to right hand drive. Oh yeah, y'all drive on the left side of the road. I wonder what that's like. The opposite drive on the right. Candy paint year two thousand, yes sir, brother. Yeah. Candy paint, man, was very expensive to get done on a car. Very expensive. Very expensive. But uh, I had, um, yeah, I had that. I had, I had my Millennium painted the same color as my Chevelle. And I was like, dude, that was two cars, bros. 45, 30, the city. That's almost a hundred. I had almost a hundred thousand dollars in two cars. Uh, I rounded off two cars. I'm pretty much 70 grand. 70 grand in two cars. But at the time, I just had that computer repair business. Said too much. Yeah. Say less, man. Say less. I'm gone. I'm out. I'm out, guys. Hey, I'm out. Seriously, bro. I appreciate y'all guys hanging, man. But I got uh, I got to start reading some books. Plus, I got I to gotta catalog all these books on my CLZ app. It's a lot of books, bro. I don't know how I'm going to get started on reading it. Uh, and it's like some of these books I got, I'd love to sell, man. But you got to wait for the right time, bro. I try. I want to get the maximum amount for my money. You know? You, you sell a book for three, dollars $400 right now and a couple months later... Should be worth more. I don't know. We'll see, man. All right, peace, uh, Mark. Bro, take care. Uh, Zoot. Zatoon, you still here, brother? Peace out to you too, brother. CFAP. Craig69 for the win. TK for the win. Perry's Comics. Check out Perry Comics. TK Batcave. Man, Zatoon over here for all the way from France. 
Yes, sir, man. Voulez-vous vous chez? C'est soir, c'est soir. I don't know how that song go, but probably the extent of my French. Uh, yeah. We shout everybody came through tonight, man. Uh, Art Chemist, God Tank, Biggie, Biggie, the NWO, New World Order, uh, Biggie Shaq, Art Chemist, C Fab, uh, Perry Comics, Tune again, yeah, Warpath, Native Brother from Another Mother, yeah, I hope you get your hands on that, um, uh, Spirit of Vengeance, Spirit Writer. I will. Hey, look, I pre-ordered a couple copies of Spirit of Vengeance, Spirit Writer, and that Captain America, Captain America, United States of Captain America number three, the Native American Captain America. And when I get my hands on my copies, if my cousin did pick up the extra copies that I ordered, I got my give away a couple of those. Um, and after that, I ah, fucking bad as I hate it, man. I'm at to ease up on the giveaway, bro. Cause right now, I probably got about a band, but a band, and well, I think I gotta pay bills. I got bills to pay out the way now. I'm like, I'm like, almost uh, at the beginning, starting stage of the save up. I'm gonna have to start a fucking GoFundMe account. <laughs> Pinky, big shout out, my man, Pinky. Uh, Art Chemist again. Christina Payne as well. She's cooking some good vittles. Some good vittles, man. Eat some vittles. Yeah, cut most of it back. Damn, it cut off all the comments going all the way back. I thought it like, at least uh, let you keep them all in there. Ladies, Chris, be good, everyone. Uh, if the book fetch enough. Now to get a car, just do it, dude. I'm telling you, man. Yo, I could probably sell my Venom, my Venom, uh, th uh, first appearance of Venom signed by Todd McFarlane right now. And shit, you know what I mean? But once that's gone, it'll, I'll never get it back. So that uh, that book and my first appearance of Miles Morales, I'm I'm going to try to hold that for my grandkids. You know, dad and my, first, my one copy of signed by Stan Lee book I own. Um... You know, Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. I by him and Stan, uh, Rob Liefeld. It's a nine eight. Um, definitely want to keep that down the road too. And pass it on to the grandkids. You know, might be might be a college for might be able, you know, they might be able to pay their way through college with them books one day. You know, I can see Venom and Miles Morales being a very big book 20, 30 years down the road. If books are still a thing, if comic books are still a thing that long, that further down the road, nostalgia will always be a thing. So I'm pretty sure it'd be worth money. Yeah, I got a lot of crap here, man. I'm just waiting for the right time for something to pop. Uh, like that, I got that one copy of Moon Knight signed by Bill Sikiewicz, 9.6. I figure once they show a trailer for Moon Knight, you know, I'm not saying that book's going to be no $10,000, $20,000 book, but. Yeah. Under a G, maybe a G, maybe a thousand dollar book. Right now, I think you probably sell it for about four or five hundred dollars. Possibly. But yeah, when a trailer gets shown, that book might be uh, worth a little something. Goddamn Venom number three, man. Oh, I should have sold those when I had the chance. Anyways, all right, guys. Y'all take care, bro. I love all y'all. Uh, Zatoon, everybody over, uh, over in England, Paris. Panama, anybody outside the United States, love y'all guys. Yeah, that is a heart. <laughs> love y'all guys, man. Take care. Everybody want, I will definitely get your books out this week sometime. Uh, and uh, Yeah, for all you guys still picking up books, man, good luck. But also... I am going to think about doing, it might be a funny uh, live stream, but Comic Books Anonymous is going to be a actual show. I'm trying to figure out how to do it right. So anybody got any ideas or, you know, definitely got to need to get like a good intro video for that one, you know. I'll probably go holler at my man and see if he can make me one. Um, you know, like a, 
like similar to alcohol and narcotics anonymous except for comic books that definitely gonna try to cram hard we're gonna make that happen man we're gonna make that happen that way people can come on and talk about you know mistakes of them buying a book maybe they really didn't need to buy it but they bought it anyway and pills is tight you know it can be kind of funny and serious at the same time yeah we could definitely gonna have to make that happen man so uh, everybody take care. If anybody over there uh, lurking me right now, my channel, you watching, over there laughing, giggling with your homeboys, tickling each other's balls. Peace out, bitch. <laughs> great man, dude. Peace. Great. I'm out. I'm closing off, great man. Big shout out to my man, great man, too, bro. Right there, great man. Check him out. Got a lot of good stuff over there. Guys, take care, man. Everybody, be safe. Peace. Ma, where's the Duke's mayonnaise? It's in the cabinet. Where? It's in the cabinet. This commercial break is brought to you by Duke's mayonnaise. It's got twain. When I'm at home chilling, playing PS4, watching Tubi.com, bootlegging the crap out of some movies, I like to have me a sandwich. And when I make that sandwich, I got to have Duke's mayonnaise on it. You know why? Not because it's got twain. Because nobody does it better than Duke's. It's just not humanly possible. Wherever you live at, if you don't got Duke's, you need to tell them. I need my sandwich with Duke's mayonnaise.